Today's episode of the Nate Land Podcast is brought to you by BetterHelp, Babbel, Viore Clothing, and Game Time. Hello, folks, and hey, Bear. Uh, welcome to the Nate Land Podcast. Nate Bargetzi, Brian Bates, Aaron Weber, Dusty Slay. All right. Uh, we're all here. I got a McDonald's hoodie on. Uh, which we've talked about I'm on a calorie thing now, but I could eat one oh, Happy dude. Meal. McDonald's sent me ha- free Happy Meals. Did they really? And this uh, and this hoodie. That's a great hoodie. Yeah. What spurred them to do that? I have a joke. I'm a stand-up comedian, and I have a joke <coughs> about McDonald's. Uh, and I have a special. That was out. <laughs> what the crazy question? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, are you about the ten-year-old joke? <laughs> About no, I have my new special. I have a joke about not getting a Happy Meal. Oh, uh, okay. You don't remember that? Uh, oh, yeah. Fast yeah. forward. He has the senior stuff. No. Yeah. yeah. So they want to make sure you are getting some Happy Meals now. They're making sure I'm getting Happy Meals. You are a Happy Meal. Now. I'm a Happy Meal you now. You got a smile all the I time. I get a Happy Meal. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it was very, yeah, I was like, oh. It's been a dream come true for me to finally get some from McDonald's <laughs> yeah, yeah. and to acknowledge my existence. So I was very happy. No hat today either. Mm. Feeling, you know, I don't know why. Looks Different good. person. Looks yeah. good, yeah. Yeah, yeah I feel like a lot going on here. What do you pair with a McDonald's hoodie? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, that's the hard part. You either go all out McDonald's or yeah. something a, plain. The, the you Riddler. Get a, yeah, get a Ronald yeah. McDonald wig. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That could be is he still ring. around? Is he still being used? <clears throat> I don't think yeah. so. I think, yeah, I just saw a video with him. Oh, okay. Because McDonald's All-American. Okay. They had a, He was there. I mean, it's been a year and a half or two years ago, I guess, maybe, but we talked about him at the, oh, right. the, the Thanks- Macy's yeah, Thanksgiving Parade. The COVID, he was wearing a COVID mask. Uh, that's mm-hmm. right. I just mm-hmm. haven't seen him. Uh, I haven't seen him lately. <laughs> <laughs> we used to talk a lot. <laughs> He's still well, around. He had COVID. I just love the idea you're pulling down your COVID mask to put a chicken nugget in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, well, thanks for the hoodie. <laughs> they're going <laughs> to, right. right after this, they're going to be like, hey, could you, you the rest of this episode, this hoodie's blurred. Some big money McDonald's. Well, you guys. guys, you guys don't agree though. You know, you don't agree with me, so it's okay. Yeah, I like McDonald's. Yeah, uh, yeah. But I get that. You, I, I shouldn't be doing. But I they mean, own it's Chipotle my too. Do you know that? I did know that. Yeah. Yeah. Do you like Chipotle? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't hate them. You know what I mean? Right. I like Chipotle. When's the last time you had McDonald's? It's been a long time. I, you know what I do like? I like a McDonald's a breakfast hash brown. I like I have that. A great hash I like brown. that hash brown. I'm a big mm-hmm. fan of that. I put ketchup on it. Okay. Mm-hmm. I love it. I love it. Best hash brown in the game, really. When I'm going through my, like, if I'm going through, like, a, I don't even care. I'm just eating everything mm-hmm. I love phase. I'll get uh, breakfast, two hash browns, and four ketchups. Wow. And I'll put two ketchups on. That's a lot of ketchup per hash I told brown, you. man. I like enough ketchup that a person goes, it's a lot of ketchup. <laughs> yeah, two of them on the, Ooh. you know. How do you do it? You just do half one. Oh, half you're the sitting other down one. to eat this. This isn't a in your lap in the car. Meal. I'd prefer to be at a table <laughs> for to settle in. Yeah, mm-hmm. this is you know this is your I don't you you going through your I don't care I, I, yeah, I I'm yeah. tired of trying to eat right or something mm-hmm. and you kind of losing it phase. I don't do it all. I don't I, I haven't done the breakfast you know uh, super often, but but I'm going usually I'm a, if I'm eating something I'm getting my Big Mac meal with a Side filet of fish. You ever do Heinz 57 on a potato of any kind? Mm. I like that. I like Heinz 57. Like a baked potato or like a hash. Like you go to the <coughs> Huddle House, you get a patty melt, dip it in Heinz 57, mix it in with the hash browns I like browns ketchup. See, I like ketchup on Waffle House hash browns. That's another one. I'll, I'll, I'll load it with some ketchup, and I'll, okay. I mean, I love it. I love it. I get ham in it. That's it. I never had ketchup with breakfast. It it feels like a later in the day thing to me. Oh, no. A lot of people do eggs. Welcome to the Bargetsi. (laughs) The Bargetsis are about some ketchup. My dad puts it on everything. Yeah. Steak. Steak. Oh, uh, yeah. Hit me on a breakfast. We're a big ketchup family. Yeah. We love ketchup. You like a Heinz ketchup or a Hunt's? Heinz. Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. 
Does McDonald's still, for a while, they were doing the all day breakfast, and I feel like that went away. No. It went away. A lot it, of these things quietly went away. You know, the dollar menu is basically gone now. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. But they just kind of phase I, I it I out. I use the dollar menu. But that it's was, not what it was. Well, that's where my side sandwich is lived. Yeah, I know. Was the dollar menu. Yeah, yeah. That was the whole point of the dollar now menu. Now it's $1.39, sometimes yeah, yeah. $2. Yeah, but that was the whole point of it was to go like, I'll take uh, number one, no onions, and look at the McChicken. <laughs> yeah. I would have thought the breakfast all day would have lasted, though. Seems like that would have been a something people wanted. Uh, they they should do it. They'd still, I think, <coughs> get rid of it early. They should just do it. I think they, there's been a compromise, but we do it until noon. Yeah. yeah and then, so. then we're done. Instead of 10 or 11. 10.30. 10 10 30. Yeah, that's early for, you know, <coughs> I mean, I know I understand like a lot of people going to work earlier, their work by then, but, you know, if someone, you think someone's going to lunch at 10.30 and get McDonald's, like, you know, I mean, a kid maybe. I, I mean, I'd like to know the inside studying of that. But I think if you did, if you gave breakfast till noon and then have an overlap of, you know, say like 1030, we do start doing regular food too. Mm-hmm. And so then you only have an hour and a half an overlap. I think that's a solid, solid plan. And then bring it back after midnight. Right? Because late could. night food, you want breakfast food late night sometimes. Yeah. Don't you, don't yeah. you agree? But yeah. I, I, yeah. I would be, okay. but I would, I'd be in the room going, I don't, I don't know if we have to do that. Yeah, after midnight, it's like people don't care what they're eating. Yeah, <laughs> they just want to eat. You want to be open. You're drinking. You're going through the drive. I mean, that's what they want to be open. <laughs> drinking in the drive thru Yeah, it's that. That's what Taco Bell is. I mean, they know that. Uh-huh. They know what they are. Yeah. I yeah. stopped last night driving home from Huntsville. I was going to stop at the McDonald's, but the line was so long. I went next door to Jack's, which I don't even think we have those in Tennessee, do we? Not a Jack in the Box, a Jack's. Jack's. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't yeah. know if I've had Jack's. If you had one, Bestie? I have had it. My dad meets with his friends like every Tuesday at a Jack's. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I've it's here. There. Yeah. It's in Alabama. Oh. Yeah. And how was it? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's just a regular. It's not Jack in the Box bad. Yeah. Jack yeah, in the I Box mean, it's... Is, is garbage. No, oh, I don't think it's garbage. Um, you like yeah, it? Yeah. No, it is what it is. They got a lot going on. They got tacos. Like yeah, yeah. Jack in the oh, Box okay. is fun. Because then your side stuff can get become a little fun. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So if you're like, you want up. a little, you know, I want to go and be like, look, I'm going to do my meat and potatoes, hamburger fries, yeah. Diet Coke. Yeah. And then. And some pad thai. On the yeah. Side. Like, they, uh, yeah, you can go crazy. Yeah. What about a Fazoli's? You like that? I it's like Fazoli's. I'm pretty anti Wasn't that like Drew Maddox's? I always thought I heard his family. He played at Vanderbilt. I don't know. Uh, I feel like you've asked that before yeah. here. I I don't know. I, I thought know. for sure that Fazoli's was a failing business about to completely go under, and then they built a brand new one in a city that I went to. I like Fazoli's. I think it's uh, uh, Drew Maddox. Yeah, he's a, he played for Vanderbilt. He's a basketball coach at, I want to say C- CPA. Yeah, I want to say CPA. Uh, Christ Presbyterian Academy. And uh, – but he played at Vanderbilt, and I thought I always heard like his family owned a Fazoli's, and I don't know why. <laughs> that's like one of those things you just hear, and who knows if that's true. Story like that's got to be true. Story, story like that's got to be true. Yeah. Uh, so, it, but it's uh, I always I don't go into Fazoli's, but I as much, but I I definitely liked it because it was like it's like kind of a fast food Italian place, and you can go yeah. there. They had great bread. I do like the bread at an Italian spot. Like a like a Pizza Hut breadstick. Mm-hmm. Oh, pizza yeah. Pizza Hut breadsticks are top notch. Yeah, when you get appetizers for pizza, it's always just more pizza. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. But I like it. Yeah, dude. You go, I'll take the little bites of pizza, and I'm going to order a pizza. Mm-hmm. Garlic knots, something like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. I love a garlic. I used to work at Papa John's, and oh, uh, you could run that cheese bread through the oven, but you could also, you know, you could just, if you're working there, you just <clears> kind of <throat> make your own little cheese bread. You had uh, some pepperonis, some green peppers. You know, you get it, you really mix it up. Man, that was, I loved it. Yeah. I wouldn't put green peppers on it. I love green peppers. I love the sauce. It's all about the like sauce. garlic sauce. It's, no, it's, I don't know if I'm a big garlic nut. Like, I, I know, think I like sauce. it. garlic sauce. You know, the Papa John's garlic sauce. I don't know if I... Garlic I'm butter? I'm talking about the, the marinara sauce. Oh, geez. You mean like the garlic butter? Yeah. 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 That's good. That's what, it's, that's, it what's your, little, like, that's what made Papa John's Papa What's your John's? meal when you don't, like, you're like, I don't care. Like, you... you <laughs> See what I had this morning? Yeah. Uh, no. Uh, I'll go Papa John's. I'll eat. I'll eat a whole large pizza. Like, no problem. Yeah, yeah. I, I've been going to Old Chicago a lot. Old Chicago. Never heard There's of it. There's one here. Uh, pizza? In Brentwood. Uh, yeah, it's pizza. 
And they have great pizza. I mean, I like Domino's and Papa John's too, but I'll, I'll go to Old Chicago. But like I'm saying, like when you go eat, uh, you know, when you're, you know, when you're in a, you're like, I'm just gonna be, mm-hmm. I'm not gonna put a stop to it. I'm gonna yeah. eat everything my brain tells me. Oh to eat. yeah. It's like I, I mean, I could go McDonald's or if I go pizza or you know. Well, I'll eat, and then on the way home, I stop at the gas station, and then get a bunch of stuff at the gas station. So you you I'll would do double it. up. You man. double up with like the the little food there, mm-hmm. like those little donuts, candy, I'll get those donuts. And what, I mean, yeah. whatever, dude. Yeah, I feel like if it's pizza for me, I want to go good pizza, right? Like I like to go to a spot that's got a that's got a you know. Well, I think oh, that's why, like old Chicago, it's like uh, <clears throat> it's meet me in the middle of good pizza and and mm-hmm. like a chain. Oh yeah, it's like kind okay. of being like, all right, it's it's like you don't uh, feel like complete trash in there, but you know. yeah, you, I mean, you, yeah, you go sit there and eat, but it's like, I mean, I, oof, I could eat some night. Tell There's you a that. spot in McMinnville called Begonias, and they they really hook up a pizza. I went there about closing time the other day, and it felt like they rushed it, but uh, it is a it's a hot spot mm-hmm. for pizza, and McMinnville is not the culinary. Uh, um, Mecca. Capital of yes. the world, yes. They got a good barbecue place there. They do have a pretty good barbecue place. Coop, Coop, something River Barbecue. They don't have chicken barbecue though. Oh gosh, yeah. There is a place. There's a barbecue place there, right? And I went there and I ate. And I've been there a bunch of times. And I go, I asked the guy, the waiter. I go, uh, he. I went there with Connor one time, and this guy's real tall. And he go, he asked Connor, did he have a girlfriend? He goes, I bet you get a lot of chicks. And it was like, <laughs> it's like really weird. It's like, just yeah, take yeah. it easy, dude. You're our waiter, right? <laughs> and um, the uh, I go, hey, you don't have barbecue chicken? He's like, barbecue chicken? He's like, I never heard of barbecue chicken. I was like, I, I said to him, I go, really? And uh, that's pizza? Not, that's, no, 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 just in general, in a, in a barbecue restaurant, just <laughs> yeah. barbecue chicken. He goes, I never heard of barbecue chicken. And I could not believe it. I mean, I, it was blowing my mind that this guy had never heard of barbecue chicken. And then the booth behind me asked the same, he goes, you guys don't have barbecue chicken? He goes, why is everybody asking about barbecue <laughs> chicken today? <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, I get, I would imagine you get asked that every single day. Yeah. I mean. If you could do, you know, uh, California Pizza Kitchen, they have a good, their barbecue chicken pizza. I get no onions. I like that. California, it's great. Yeah, I like the California Pizza yeah, Chicken. Yeah, they got a good or, pizza. Yeah. Uh, I, went, I went with you to, there in, when you lived in Queens. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's where I took I go to New York. I go to California Pizza Kitchen over here. <laughs> that's yeah, where you took me. Local brand. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> yeah. I uh yeah, they have a great pizza. If I could go, like I was thinking like last meal. So you're a serial killer on death row. You get anything you want. Yeah. Have we done a last meal on this? Uh, I think so. Yeah. I mean, I might you, you want to mix it up, you know. How much do you get? I think I don't know if there's a limit. Yeah, I mean, I would think they would. Some of them have gotten a lot, mm-hmm. a lot of stuff. Do you think you'd really have an appetite though if you knew you were about to die? I think that's when you have the biggest appetite because you, you know you're not going to have to live with it. There, you go. I can. I'm not going to have a stomach. Yeah, but later, I mean, you got to you know? be just your yeah. stomachs in knots. Yeah, like you know what I mean. You're like, I'll just take some. I can't even. Or eat. what if you feel like you deserve it? Maybe, and you're like, you're at peace with it. What if you're like. They won't electrocute me until I finish my meal, so just keep ordering food. <laughs> yeah, you just eat keep slowly. It. Yeah. See, Timothy could, McVeigh, his meal was two pints of chocolate chip ice cream. Yeah, see, I could see, uh, I could see something like that because you're just, you're just ice cream. You're like, I can get ice cream. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can get, yeah, I can get it down. No, no worries about diabetes now. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That's what Medium I'm saying. rare. This is Ted Bundy. Had, Steak, eggs over easy, toast, hash browns, milk, coffee, juice. It's I like a nice that. meal. I like that meal. I'm, I'm, I'm having a soda in there, <clears throat> you know. <laughs> so, uh, Saddam Hussein. <clears throat> Boiled chicken and rice, several cups of hot water laced with honey. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty depressing last meal. <laughs> that's how I eat every day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you want to wash this down with, Saddam? Give me some hot water mm. laced with honey. Ugh. Yeah, that seems – that's crazy that they gave him the last meal. Like, you didn't even really think about that. I never thought about Not that. Not even grilled chicken, boiled. Huh. The worst way to cook it. Yeah. he uh, He's like, something easy. Uh, <laughs> I've done to, enough. Yeah, I've done, I've done enough. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, I mean, I'm going to go. Uh, I think I'm going to McDonald's. I'm going to go McDonald's. I'm going to go. Uh, what was that one? Wait, which one? Yeah, we're, it's uh, the woman. Oh, it's the. Uh, this is the girl that. Uh, what's her face played in that movie? Monster Eileen Wernos. She declined a final meal, but instead asked for a single cup of coffee. See, I could see something like that. Because, I mean, you could also, yeah, she's probably like, it's hard. But then you're like, I just want a good taste. <laughs> like, I would like a diet, like it'd be mm-hmm. some kind of, I'd maybe a McDonald's Diet Coke. And be like, you want, like, that's going to even mean more. That's like, oh, this is so good, <laughs> man. You know? And you're just like. Yeah, imagine you, you get this coffee and it's like a. Uh, not good coffee. You're like, oh, this is my last option here. And you brought, like, even like Starbucks, right? Starbucks, I think, has a good coffee if you get it at the right time. A mm. lot of times it tastes burnt. Mm-hmm. And, but sometimes I'll get it and I'll be like, that's delicious. Yeah, I, I think I got to go McDonald's. I'm going to, uh, I'll be like, number one. I'd probably go to number one, a flay of fish. But I'd be, I'd, I'd really check the sandwiches. I do that even now. I mean, I eat like a last. Mo- there, uh, uh, I, I like, yeah. I would, uh, uh, I would do uh, when I would my last meal. I think I would have, McDon- I'd have McDonald's. But like even now, when I get a Big Mac or filet of fish, like I'll check them before. Like I can feel the bun using a filet of fish. To try to be like which ones. Because I don't want to finish the Big Mac and then get to play a fish and it's like not good. You want your last thing at least to be good. So if I feel one's going to be worse than the other, I'll start with the. I don't throw it away, <clears> but <throat> I'm going to eat it. Right, right. But I'm going to at least. Yeah. I'm going to you know I'm going to clock in and get the job done on one, yeah. and then I'm going to enjoy the other one. Oh yeah. Uh, and then fries. I'd ask for a lot of hot mustard. Yeah. I'd ask for a lot of hot mustard. Hot. I'd probably get a cheeseburger in there too, no onions, and I'd ask for a lot of hot mustard. And ketchup. And I asked for a, my own bottle of ketchup. Heinz, unopened, warm. <laughs> just give me my own bottle of ketchup. And I don't really want to talk to anybody about ketchup. Yeah. I don't want you coming in. Right. I don't want, you know, be like, no one's allowed to say, I'm, man, he's a lot of ketchup. And when you write this up, <laughs> people are looking on websites. Maybe then I would yeah. say he, you, you're allowed to write, he used a crazy amount of ketchup. I'd say that after. Yeah. You'd- I might go McDonald's, though. I, yeah. I think I might throw some Crystal Burgers in there because I really we do, like big. the taste of Crystal Burgers. Yeah. They never make me feel good. We would. Uh, but I, I don't have to worry about that. Now. Yeah, uh, yeah. You don't want to be feeling good when you're about to die. Yeah, but I love the taste of a go bag White of Castle Crystal Burgers. We're a big White Castle family because Louisville, and so oh, yeah. we never. They won't even eat. No one eats okay. Crystal. I didn't it's even, all White Castle. But uh, I didn't even know about. White I would. Castle I, 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 I wouldn't mind White Castle. Or, you know, like that. No onions again. They throw onions on. Mm-hmm. I'd say no onions. I, I like a nice white. Yeah. yeah. And be like, give me like 40 <clears throat> of them. Yeah. But you got to really, yeah, you have to go. I think you would have to surprise the person with the last meal. But like, we're going to give you a, a last meal. You might be <coughs> about to go or you might be six months going. Yeah. But, oh, you know. It's like you don't know till you show up and see what you're eating that day. And that's when you're like, ah, oh, I'm getting well, killed later. No, I don't. Yeah. I think there have been times where guys have had their last meal and there's a last minute appeal that stops it. Mm. And so they just get to enjoy that meal. Mm-hmm. And then they go, well, I wish I want to eat all this. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> kill me. Yeah. yeah. I'd like a grilled cheese. They will him in. He's all <laughs> full and they're like, you don't got to do it. He goes, well, I would have got a salad. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to feel like a garbage the next two days. <laughs> Yeah, tough to be happy when you're just digesting that crap, huh? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I would do a, 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 a grilled cheese with American cheese and uh, white bread because that's what I like, but that's real bad for you. Nothing good about that. I'd like to throw that in too. Maybe soup? I, I, don't, I wouldn't do the soup. I see. I could do uh, two grilled cheese sandwiches, <clears throat> but you're like, I want you know my mom to make them. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then I want like Campbell's tomato soup. With milk, I use milk instead of water. And okay. then, uh, okay. maybe an old school hamburger from a little league baseball game. You remember those? <laughs> those, oh, are yeah. those are great. And huh? a pixie stick, too. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Slushy. Yeah. I get slushy. Yeah. Now you're talking. You get, get, hey, babe, I want a few slushies because I'm going to just drink the syrup out of it. Mm-hmm. 
you know, I'm not going to be wasting my time on the ice. Yeah. Yeah. A few slushies. Some, my, you know, <laughs> you have to set the tone. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's going to be talking about all the people you killed. You eat all this stuff. They're just going to be talking about. That would become the story. Yeah. That would become mm-hmm. the story. How much ketchup do you use? <laughs> Dude, it's every starts with. Well, I don't even. I don't have enough words. They didn't give me enough words to describe the amount of ketchup this guy used. It looked like a crime scene. I was about to say it looked like one of his crimes. Yeah, Yeah. we had a Heinz rep on hand. Yeah. Uh, we're starting off with yeah. uh, some of you guys' comments. Uh, mm-hmm. When is this one coming out? We don't know yet. Yeah, it's coming oh. out uh, the week of. Oh, it's the big week, isn't yeah. it? It's the big oh, week, Bridgestone. dude. Yeah. I mean, Bridgestone mm, yep. this week. Mm. Yeah. Are we not here? Oh, because the Monday. You're playing your golf tournament. I have my golf tournament. The Nate Bargetsy charity golf tournament. Yep. Someone emailed, by the way, Nate. and asked for us three to be their partners. In oh. the tournament? Yep. Y'all go do it? No. No. Nah. Oh. Why? Nah. I didn't even run it by these stuff guys. going on. Y'all should do it. I'm, I'm out of town. That Monday? Uh, yeah. I didn't even run it by these guys, but I'm like, hey, you don't want us out there. I wouldn't go out there. They definitely don't town. want me out there. It would might seem fun when I show up, but I'd be real bad, <laughs> and then be like, okay, jeez, dude. <laughs> yeah. After the second or third hole, he'd get old. Yeah. Yeah. Scar smoke in his face. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just sitting on the golf cart. Mm-hmm. Being like, skip your, it. Your shoes are off. You're out there grounding. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Pargent 2024. I think it is hilarious that way back in episode two, Nate says that he would prefer to talk with someone who doesn't believe in space than someone who does. Fast forward to the edition of Dusty, and I think I would have to agree. Not Absolutely. saying you don't believe in space. Right. We're just having a good yeah, time. Yeah, we're doing a bit here. Uh, so the question <laughs> <laughs> becomes, did you add Dusty because you got tired of just talking to Breakfast and Aaron? All joking aside, I love the podcast. You helped me get through my master. I read that all wrong. But all joking aside, I love the podcast. You helped me get through my master's last year, and now you helped me get through my drive to work. All right. That your master's. Right. Congrats on the master's. You. Yeah. Yeah. He's a master. Okay. Probably uh, not even at night, probably. Oh, daytime like master. Yeah, a, day, a real one. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Crystal Hawkins. I want to say how grateful I am for the vision of Nate Land bringing clean comedy that my kids can be around and hear. My 11-year-old son loves to say penguins, penguins, <laughs> because of y'all. My husband and I are telling, are always telling our friends to listen. We convinced several with the If Ants Could Take Over the World episode. Thanks for everything you are doing, for all the laughter and interesting facts. It really enriches enriches my week. Is that how you say that? Enriches. Enriches. What did I say? Enriches? <coughs> enriches my that, week. Well, the Ants Taking Over the World episode was, yeah, that was a hot episode. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that was fun. People loved it. Yeah. People liked it. Uh, uh, Sean uh, hates, hates, <laughs> hates. Sean hates. Sounds like a partial statement. Yeah. yeah. I feel like this is a woman. I don't know why. It might be Sean. Uh. No, no. There's mm. still be Sean. Sean Johnson know. is the gymnastic. I thought it was. Okay. Yeah, 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 you're right. I'm just saying I have no idea if this is or not. Uh, so with Nate Land Production taking over the world, have you thought of doing a new sitcom? With all the different streaming platforms and Greg Garcia's help, I am sure someone would pick it up. Are retooling your pilot to be a drama like they did with Fresh Prince? They did that with Fresh Prince. It's mm-hmm. a drama. It looks so bad. I don't know if you've seen yeah. it. Yeah, it looks yeah. so bad. It's, uh, I think there's probably still meant to be funny moments, but it does not look to be strictly a comedy. I don't know how you uh, take the classic comedy of our lifetime and try to make it a drama. Yeah. yeah. We all know the theme song. I mean, everybody knows it. And right. it's like, how are you going to try to make that a drama? It's going to be just heavy after heavy. Mm-hmm. Oh, I mean, yeah. It's going to be the way. No, there of the were world. heavy moments in that show, but they were. That was in a time when not between. everybody was doing it. That's mm-hmm. right. So it's you. you pe- people are not against heavy moments, but you just got to go with the way of where everything is. They got to be earned. They got to be earned heavy moments. It's got to mm-hmm. be, and those were real. And I remember I cried during Fresh Prince of Bel Air when he Uncle Phil and he yeah. hugs him and How come yeah. you don't want me, man? Yeah, that whole yeah, game. yeah. I mean that was awesome. And but it was like it was just not everything was. It wasn't every. You know, you could set up and wait for a nice moment like that, and then go back to you know the show was ending, all the stuff. 
Like you could do that kind of stuff. And now, now it's like everything is just from out the gate mm-hmm. is just ugh, like a whole, you know, it's a whole thing. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, yeah, we could, we could do it. Uh, yeah, look, I'm, uh, I'll see whatever happens with the sitcom. Uh, there's always trying something. But, uh, but Sean says with all the different streaming platforms, well, Nate Land is the streaming platform. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I would love that. I mean, we're, you know, it's like this stuff has to build up. I would love to. That's that's the ultimate goal is to have Nate Land be a, you know, you could be like a Disney. Mm. Like you can just be, here's what we make at Nate Land. Nate Land theme park, man. Nate Land theme park. And then uh, you can make, uh, yeah, you make, I mean, I think you can make movies. I think you can make uh I was, you know, I'm watching like John Wick and you're like, you can make these movies. No one's against, these are, Mm -hmm. you know, it's not trying to be prudes or trying to be whatever. It's just, you know, maybe not everything has to be so sexualized or, I mean, maybe that's Mm -hmm. the older in me that it just, it just feels like the old way stuff was the stuff that we grew up with. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe I'm wrong because I watched some PG stuff when I grew up, but you're like, golly, like the stuff they mm-hmm. say. A know? lot of the 90s stuff is real wild. Yeah. But it's not like today, though, I don't think. I mean, today, it's like John Wick. I mean, that movie, I, I loved it. I love that movie. But I'm like, it is uh, way over the top. I mm. mean, it just, uh, uh, you know, a dog was killed and we were all sad about it. But it ended up in a lot of death. You know what I mean? Yeah. But that's like a shoot em up. Like you're watching a guy do yeah, I mean, karate it's and yeah, 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 yeah. Amazing, it's like, but a lot of people died. You gotta, you gotta believe that some of those people were not even really involved in that dog being killed. Yeah, you know what I mean. They're like, listen, I'm just needing a job here, man. Yeah, <laughs> because I was just walking by. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I think every it just makes it, it feels like back then it was a, it was about everything was about the movie was about that person, and I feel like everything now is like kind of got it outwardly. Like it's trying to change you. Yeah. Where back then it was like, no, no, we're just a movie. Here's a movie. Laugh. Do whatever you you don't have to take it home with you. Here's a, and now movies are like, you should be different after you watch this movie. There's a lesson yeah. to be learned. Yeah. And you also had comedies where it was like it was a story and there was funny stuff in the story. Mm-hmm. Now it's like joke, 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 joke. Which it's like it's fun to have a lot of funny moments, but they feel like you said earlier, they're not earned. It's just joked. It's just people sitting in a room just punching it up all along the way, where it's like, let, let the story develop a little bit and the laughs will come. Mm. Well, they're, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, Andy Griffith used to have a bunch of lessons, but it was like Opie learning those right. lessons. Yeah. And so it didn't feel, you would see the lesson and it's, it's good for you to watch and stuff, but I, it, yeah, it just feels different. It feels a little different now. Uh, so, um, uh, I don't know if that answers your question, but <laughs> uh, maybe he's like, maybe don't do it. <laughs> I've changed my mind. Yeah. Because first you called me a woman. And then you- <laughs> D. D'Angelo. 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 I stopped listening to the podcast for a while when Dusty came on board. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next comment. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. However, I listened to a few recent podcasts when Nate wasn't there and Dusty kept me entertained. Hmm. I don't agree with Dusty on pretty much everything, <laughs> but he says what he thinks with such convention, conviction. So I have changed my mind. I'm back listening to Nate Land. All welcome right. back. Well, welcome. welcome back. Glad to have I you. I mean, you abandoned so quickly. I mean, you kind of, mm. you really got to take it easy. Don't be so yeah. reactionary. We lost a lot of people when you came on board, yeah. Dustin. Uh, How back do you think he is? Is he sitting down on the couch or is his jacket still on, standing by the door? That's what it feels <laughs> well, like. Well, he didn't wish me a happy I think he, yeah. <laughs> tell you that. Yeah, he did it. Yeah. I think he knows, you know, it's. Yeah, he's not. He's not. It's not daily viewing. He's back where, like, yeah, I'll give it a give it a go. It's funny how we think Sean might be a woman, but D D'Angelo, we call it he, for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot of people get so uh, bothered by my beliefs, but you know, I'm just you know really smart, and uh, <laughs> I know what's going on out here. Yep. All right. <laughs> so <laughs> you're C. You're C. <laughs> yeah. Your beliefs all end with. Well, you'll see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, give it some time. Yeah, give it some time. <laughs> Cameron, Cameron Huddle, Huddleston. Cameron Huddleston. Wondering what advice you would give a 36-year-old who's looking to do the first open mic night in the next couple months. 
Uh, hey, just go do it, but then just know where you go talk about. Just have the plan. Don't go up there just thinking I'll figure it out. Mm-hmm. Have the plan. Think of the jokes. Think of whatever, and then just do it. And then you got to just go do it because then after you do it the first time, you at least will be like okay, and then you can do it again just to then yeah. be like okay, I know how this works. But have have a have a plan. It's when you if you're gonna go up there thinking ah, I'm a funny person, I'll be all right. Uh, you're going to get hit with just mm-hmm. it's it's not going to be great. I'll give two. I wonder if y'all disagree with me. I have two two things that mm-hmm. I think. A, don't bring a big group with you. Yeah, save that for the twentieth time you do come. Yeah, because yeah. you think you're going to be tempted to bring a big group out, and mm-hmm. it's just not. Gonna and they're going to laugh all loud, and you're going to think, "Oh, I crushed." So just go along. Yeah, you're gonna have to pull the band-aid off at yeah. some point. Take so a buddy. I think take, take a, buddy. a buddy. Take a friend, it. sure. Yeah. yeah, but this resist the urge to make this a big event. Uh the second thing is don't if you if you're interested in doing comedy, like for real, like uh continuing to do it, I would not film it and put it online your first set. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. I think a lot of people do that now. And have fun and be yourself. I would say <laughs> literally the first two advice was to not have fun. Take what are you serious. talking? Go alone. Well, don't I, film it. I felt like I was being too heavy, but that, I thought those are actually two pretty good. I mean, you should film it. Just don't post it. Alone. Oh, sure, sure, yeah. sure. I would say uh, say Sorry. out loud one time okay. what you plan on saying before you get there. To whom? Just yourself? to yourself. Yeah. Just say it out loud, even in the car on the way, because sometimes. You can like write down a joke and you'd be like, that's hilarious. But if you just say it out loud, you'll realize that's not actually very funny. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe when you go drive to pick up your buddies or something, or yeah. like you just before you get them, yes, just be like, yeah, don't say it to Andy. Don't I think run I'm gonna do this. It. When, you, when you get to them, you could even say, like, they're like, what are you gonna talk about? I'd be like, all right, I'm gonna talk about, uh, you know, balloons and then a horse and then, uh, you know, the jacket I'm wearing. I got like yeah. a joke about each of those things. And then you go, and that's, I'm going to close on the jacket thing. And then you, just so you, then you know the order. And Yeah, I w- but I, I just think sometimes I've I've uh, written down jokes and I go, I'm going to do this at the open mic. And then I'll, uh, I'll say it out loud. And then uh, sometimes the first time I say it out loud is on stage. And as I'm saying it, I'm like, oh, this is not funny. Mm-hmm. I don't know why mm-hmm. I'm doing this. But I've done comedy a bunch of times now, right? So it's like I can I can bomb at an open mic and live with myself. Mm-hmm. And I would say a lot of comics are going to be using this as therapy. But I would suggest for you, go with better help. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of comics do use it as therapy. This episode is sponsored by Better Help. Uh, I'm always learning new things about myself and trying to get better in my uh, relationships. I guess I can be a lot for a lot of people, and they need to get it together, but maybe it's me. <laughs> like I said, it's always easier to fix you than to fix the world. Uh, this is a great way to do it. Therapy is about finding some understanding. Uh, since we do not know what we want or why we react the way we do until we talk things through. You need to talk things through. It's easy to... Uh, you know, you can sometimes, I, I've i learned that I can jump in. I'll be frustrated with someone if they don't understand what I'm saying very quickly. Mm-hmm. Like, and it's usually my family. And then I'm like, but I'm not, you know, and you just make it too. And it's like, well, I'm not, I'm not laying it out like I should be laying it out. It's not on them to know or it's whatever it is. And you just, it's not a good thing. If you're, if you're thinking of starting therapy, give better help a try. It is entirely online, makes it convenient, flexible, fit to any schedule. Uh, BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist who can help you on that journey. Therapy is helpful for learning positive coping skills for everyday life. It is not just for major things. I don't, you know, because that's another thing you could probably also think like, well, it's for, uh, you know, the giant problems. Mm-hmm. Like if you grew up in this crazy thing, I don't, you know, some of it is like, you're just trying to, you know, enjoy, enjoy the ride more. You know, I tend to, I tend to, I take things very seriously. Uh, and so sometimes you got to remind yourself to enjoy the ride. Uh, discover your potential with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash Nate today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H E L P dot com slash Nate. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, Bren. 
Bryn3669. I've often heard comedians talk about doing an encore. How exactly does an audience go about getting the comedian to do an encore? Ooh. I'll take this one. Um, <laughs> well, Brent, I would say, <laughs> in my case, I'm coming out whether you like it or not. <laughs> uh, doing an encore, I, I did. I did it at the very beginning when I first started doing theaters, uh, but it just always felt so uncomfortable. And I would just go off, and you would just stay in there. Then you come back on. And then I would just make fun of that situation. Uh, so I haven't done one in a very I haven't done one in a very long time. Uh, would you mind at Bridgestone Arena if people are chanting? <clears throat> if I went back out there, you can go at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, yeah, bro. Well, they'll yeah. be saying Nate, but if I yeah. go out there, yeah. <laughs> Nate's uh, already in the car. It's kind of uh, I, yeah. I, I you know it's like you do an encore. It's like you just kind of I don't know I. I Encores are just like I get it in music, like they do it, but it's there's a point where you want to go like you're just it's become like you're this like just, just sing the songs. Yeah, the encore vain. in yeah. music is expected now. Oh yeah, yeah. it's like yeah, like and I've, if I'm at a concert, I'm like when it's over, I'm like oh thank goodness, and then they come back out and I'm like ah oh, here we but go. They save the best stuff for the encore yeah, usually. Yeah. That's where it's tough. Yeah, it's. Uh, I think it's you'd have something to have to be very natural for it to happen, but I, I think the encore is almost ruined in the fact that people are expecting it, they don't expect it, and we turn the lights on like after because it's like you just have to really signal that like this is it, that that was the end of the show, and it's just good to do the whole show together, like just have it yeah. all be like I'm not going to go off or whatever, just have it all be in the moment and mm -hmm. whatever. I mean Bridgestone, you're in the round, so like there's nowhere for me to go. So when the show's over, it's going to be over because it's, yeah. it's not like you can go backstage. Uh, so I, yeah, I, you know, it, it does happen. Uh, you know, people can just clap. They can just sit there. But I mean, if you watch, like, I think most of the time it's, it's kind of understood or it's expected or you, you know, you leave the lights down where you think, oh, he's about, he's probably going to come back out. And then you come back out. I'm like, I bet I could see, I guess, uh, there's some acts that do it where they really like Seinfeld does it. And I, I mean, I can understand it because he does his act, says good night. Sorry. <laughs> oh, <man>. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It just hit me. Uh, but he does it. He says good night and then uh, comes out and answers questions about Seinfeld TV show. I could understand it in that. If it felt like, if I felt there was going to be questions to be asked, Maybe I could do it. I could do it to take questions, but I, I couldn't do it to uh, – but you're like, how are you going to know they want questions? Mm -hmm. That's a big risk. I've done that before. When you I, go back out, all right, I'll take questions, and no one raises their hand. It happened to me in <laughs> Tallahassee. Not yeah. recent, but yeah. like a few years ago. It was right after my special aired. I was like, does anybody have any questions? They said no. Said, Can we go now? <laughs> yeah, they the just question. said no. No questions. Nah, all right. We're good. You're, I, it's real matzo ball hanging out there. <laughs> I could see if you have like a real iconic bit that everyone like uh, like if you're Jim Gaffigan and you're doing Hot Pockets or or Burt Kreischer the Machine, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like you you leave and then you encore with like this bit that everyone knows. Yeah, see, I'm the kind of opposite with uh, not just saying I have an iconic bit, but it's uh, sometimes you can go back out and do greatest hits. But yeah, uh, and I've debated. I don't know if I was going to do it in in because of Bridgestone, just being Bridgestone. But it's you kind of want to just be like. You know, I remember watching Burr and like Burr, you like you don't do that. You just yeah. go out and do because it's you don't want you don't want it to just be like you got you have to do this the rest of your life. Like, right. You know, and like mm -hmm. it's hard. You kind of like that material's gone, and then you kind of trying to come up with new stuff because that's what truthfully everybody wants. I know people would like to hear it, but or I understand the idea of it and yeah. I get it, but yeah, it's a it's a tricky kind of thing. It's like a whole other thing that you got to still remember. You know, yeah, it's a absolutely. lot of stuff to remember. I couldn't even do the Starbucks. Like I, if I had to tell, I don't even know if I could tell you how it gets started now. I'd, I mean, I'd have to go really. Li I'd have to learn it again. When I saw Brian Regan in Atlanta, he his encore is people yell out what jokes he does, mm. the greatest hits, and he he had trouble remembering a few of them. It was fun because yeah. they're old old yeah. jokes, twenty yeah. years ago. Yeah. Do you know the only artist to ever get an encore at the Opry? No. You can guess Henry Cho. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 
No. Charlie. No, I mean, Dan- mu- musical artist. Charlie Daniels. No, it's a good oh, guess. Oh, uh, it's like the Gar- big, biggest Garth one Brooks. ever. Yeah, Garth yeah. Brooks. Oh, yeah. Garth Brooks. At the Grand Ole Opry the show. The Grand Ole Opry, yeah. Got an encore. Hmm. And, and they the say show? there's no. This is what they say. They say they believe it to be the first uh, first ever time it happened hmm. <clears throat> to get an really? encore. Yeah. When was it? Pretty cool. I don't know. The internet's down right now. Convenient. <laughs> mm. Well, Garth down. Brooks, you know, he doesn't like to be on the internet. <laughs> he doesn't? Well, you know, his, his songs are not on Spotify. Oh, and, yeah. 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 Uh, Evan Control. I need to know if our in-house conspiracy theory expert, Dusty, has heard about Helen Keller not being a real person. I'll hang up and listen. I have mm. heard of that. Yeah. Mm. This is an interesting intersection of things because Helen Keller is a beloved in the state of Alabama. She's on our state quarter. Yeah. Helen Keller is. I mean, I have heard of it. I don't, you know, I don't. Uh, I did look at some stuff one time about it. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> you know, because it's pretty interesting. I mean, because you think about, because uh, they even get into her her helper, uh, whoever that, what was that lady's name? Um, yeah, I forgot. Um, but she, um, you know, just the idea that this lady could not s- the miracle talk worker. or hear and uh, like wrote books or something. Like, I don't know. Yeah, like, multiple books. Yeah, it's just, uh, you know. Ann Sullivan. Ann Sullivan, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I don't have any reason to believe she's not real, but uh, I do, you know, I love to get into a thing. But yeah. I don't, I'm not real versed on it, but I have heard of it. Why did WebMD do an article about this? Uh, when too many people do articles on it, you got to Yeah, go, why, well, well, it's like, uh, why did people think she didn't exist? Yeah, what's the reasoning? Do you know? I don't know exactly, but I just think it's the idea that, like, she's, what is it? She's deaf and blind? Users mm-hmm. claim the 20th century disability activist Helen Keller was a fraud who lied about her disabilities, was a Nazi, or wasn't even a real person at all. So it looks like there's a few different angles people are taking. Yeah, some of that's like, no, that's, I, I don't know. I don't, when it gets mean, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know if I tend to believe the meanness of it. Yeah, I mean, I'm Sometimes. not, I'm not mad at Helen Keller. Um, you know, yeah. I don't, I hope know, not. but yeah. uh, <laughs> I think, I think mainly, I think people's thought is the idea that someone is blind and deaf, it would be nearly impossible to teach them anything. And like for her to like be able to learn to write books, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't think a part of the story is is that it wasn't like amazing, which yeah, she did. It's called the miracle part of worker. It is that it was incredible. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not I know, supporting. I know you're I'm not. not. I mean, mm, I know I'm just not. you know doing a bit, and uh, no, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. but no, I don't really support that. But I have yeah. heard it though, and yeah. I you know, and if it pops up on my TikTok feed, I'll give it a look. All right, uh, Jeff J. Snyder. (laughs) Have you heard the theory that Garth Brooks' Chris Gaines period was actually a misdirection? Wait, have you heard the theory that Garth Brooks' Chris Gaines period was actually a misdirection? Garth Brooks's Chris Gaines period. Yeah. Oh, Garth Brooks's Chris Gaines period was actually a misdirection. Apparently, Garth, 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 apparently Garth wanted to retire. He was making too much money for his record company to allow it. So they so they brought in a guy who looked a lot like Garth and had him do the Chris Gaines stuff. That way, when he was went back to being Garth, people wouldn't really notice that he looked slightly different than he used to. Apparently, real Garth retired to a ranch in Shepherd, Montana. Oh, man. I have never heard this, and this is my favorite new conspiracy theory, mm, and wow. I can't wait to check this out. <laughs> I mean, I, I this is... Blowing my mind. Mm. I like the idea that we, you you misread his name, Go- Goth. I like that that he would instead of Chris Gaines, he's Goth Brooks. Here's what I would Goth believe Brooks. in this: is uh, I would believe that he's not retired. I would believe that he, if if this happened, was like they got a Chris Gaines to come out to say, just to be like, oh, everybody go look over there. Then he says he's retired. Then maybe Chris Gaines was doing good, and then he goes, well, I want back now. Oh, and then yeah, he's. Yeah. I love this theory, though. I'm about to dig into this because that <laughs> seems fun. Because, you know, they, they the real story is they say they were going to make a movie, and then Chris Gaines was going to be in the movie. And then the, so they put out the album, but then the movie never came out. So it just looked like this big flop by Garth Brooks. But I love this theory. <laughs> Did you ever see the Joaquin Phoenix documentary about, about that? 
No. Do you remember when Joaquin Phoenix was going to become a, a rapper? Yes. And this was like yeah. a big story. And he went on Letterman and he acted yeah. crazy. That yeah. was all a documentary uh, made by him and Casey Affleck. It's awesome, too. It's yeah. so good. Oh, really? Yeah, the exact same thing. It was all just a stunt to film this fake documentary. Nate loves some Casey Affleck. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> uh, Nick Alexander. A Rudy moment happened for a senior on my high, my team in high school. He caught a seven yard pass and spiked the ball and screamed, which was a ten yard penalty. <laughs> so his Rudy moment came out to a three yard loss. Oh, it wasn't even a touchdown. It was yeah. just a, it was like second and three. Yeah, and he spiked it. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> Uh, Jason Staub, although I'm not certain dumping our trash into space is a great idea or the mm. solution to our problems, I do think Spin Launch offers a, so we talked about the last episode, yeah. a promising method of accomplishing the goal. I imagine a world where you can go to Lowe's and buy a new Spin Launch. Oh, and they just let us do it ourselves. Yeah. Put one in the backyard, shoot up your trash individually. Yeah. Just toss it away. We're out playing. I mean, imagine yeah. being on a plane, just <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, see 40 people magazines just shoot by you out the window. You're just like, yeah, like, what was yes. just that trash going up? Trash I day, mean, dude. Just yeah. people, neighbors <laughs> fighting. They just lower it and they shoot it right at the house next to them. <laughs> yeah, you would have to have a no fly day. Like, you would. All you flights would. are grounded. You can shoot your trash to space today. And you couldn't let that thing angle. Yeah, no. It'd I have mean, to be just, straight up. Yeah. yeah. Tennessee, we just start shooting over to Kentucky. <laughs> and you're just getting over. You just one day just get hit by the cup, by a White Castle. Yeah. And you're like, there ain't no White Castle around here. <laughs> Where's this Jack's at? It's yeah. in Alabama. They're yeah. shooting the trash over yeah. here. Yeah, that's Fire right. Jack at a box back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> that would, you couldn't fly. Yeah, you couldn't have flights because they would, yeah, you have to reroute the plane. It'd be a big, it'd come at a big cost for sure, but, but this does, might be what we have yeah, to do. Save our environment. To save the planet. Mm-hmm. Can you imagine watching it? I mean, then it'd be you, kind of beautiful. It would be people would be watching it, and then you know where does that go? And you go, mm. yeah. <laughs> you better have those bags tied. Yeah, tight. <laughs> yeah, double bags. You no, need some real I mean, bags. Yeah. Where is it going to go for the no space people? Not that <laughs> just if what were where do you think they would think Antarctica? Well, yeah. you know, it's going to come back down. <clears throat> it's going to come back down, right? Eventually. Well, I would say the no space people believe this is why this will never happen. This right. is why the trash never goes to space. And it's going to be, well, it's too expensive. But if they're using it to yeah. shoot satellites, is what they're going to use. Like, where is that going to go? Just, well, that, we're just, would, you know, they would say that. They're blowing it up. Yeah, that it's not happening. They're not shooting. It's shooting nothing in yeah. the air. And then it gets high and then it just blows up. Or maybe up. they could shoot it up way high up into, you know, the vast, uh, you know, space, you know, in the sky, but mm-hmm. not actual space. Yeah. Right. It's just up there. Yeah, floating towards around. Towards the top. Right, a lot of helium. Mm-hmm. What do yeah? So what would they think though? Where do they think what goes through? Like so, it's just Earth, and then if there's no space. Yeah, nothing goes through. So it's just there's a ceiling. Yeah, I mean the you know the Bible talks about the the sun, the moon, the stars being within the firmament. Oh, okay, you know, so it's mm-hmm. all in here. It's all a closed space. Yeah, there's nothing that goes out. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. I could see that. Yeah. So it's like you could so see a meteors just uh, yeah. What happened? Yeah, what just that? some stuff moving around. Okay. But like, so we still have up. stars, moon, sun. Yeah. All that is just in, just in there. Yeah, it's, it's just, just in here. Stuff moving around. Just in there. You know, they're moving from space to snow space. Snow globe got shaken yeah. up you, a bit. Yeah. You know, they were going to dim the sun. So they're still doing that. By the yeah, way, yeah, yeah. So very hard to do if the sun is light years, light years away. Right. But it'd be much easier to do if it was within us. Yes. And, that, and you so can actually do it. It's not light years away. How far is it? It's eight light minutes away or something. It's 93 million miles. Yeah. So pretty so far. Pretty not, far a, not a light year away. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> yeah. <getting a> technical <laughs> nerd. I mean, college. it's a pretty big difference, dude. Huh? Does it even matter? It like, does, there's no way it, you know. You act like you're like, oh, you drove by it on the way here. <laughs> <laughs> you just, you go, well, it's not, you know. But we could yeah. send something to the sun. Yeah, <laughs> our trash. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like the Saturn thing has gone mm-hmm. out of our solar system. Saturn's way farther away. Yeah, yeah. But so why don't we send our trash to the sun? That dim- dims it. 
I think it would give it fuel, make little, it hotter. A little twofer, a little two birds of one stone. Yeah. We'll dim the sun and we'll get dim rid of the trash. Sun. We got to see no tires. <laughs> yeah. And you know someone's going to sneak some tires I'll, in there. I'll sneak they always do. If I had something to launch to space, yeah. it'd be tires every time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then it'd be the first thing. Yeah. It's just going to be, what's that black smoke? Yeah. Some dumb idiot. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if those <laughs> things were allowed in trailer parks, we'd be shooting it Dead up every tires. day. Dead tires. Because you can't take anybody anywhere. We'd shoot up a cousin up there. Anything you know Dusty I mean? can't take to Goodwill yeah. that's going into space. Yes, exactly. Uh, Goodwill, go out of business. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just be... Uh, I could see that. I could see how the conspiracy would happen, though, because if you think of it's all inside and then they're doing space, it's like... Well, especially if if you, you would think it's all against uh, re- religion. You yes. think that they're they'd be like, well, I gotta prove there's no God. So mm-hmm. right. Yeah. All right. Uh it's a lot to take in. Uh this guy's Jason's like, maybe he's like, just I should say I don't represent anything that they, those guys <laughs> said after <laughs> he goes, I'm, I was joking about Lowe's and spin. I was just making fun. Last week he loved it when we talked about it. Mm-hmm. This yeah. week we put his name on it and yeah. thinking yeah. another level. Now Jason's like, hey man, I should get a heads up before y'all read. Yeah. Uh, I'm Brad. That's uh, the name. Dusty stole his look from Chad Westport. All right. Well. Do you know him, Dusty? I don't know him. You got a pretty similar vibe. Yeah, we got a similar vibe. I did. A, I have a video on YouTube that I did of all the people that people say I look like. I don't know if I included Chad Westport. Is but. there or is there one that's the most common? Uh, Hardy. Yeah. Well, Hardy, not not so much. People say David Cross all the time. Yeah. They say David Cross with- Forrest Gump with Forrest long hair. Forrest Gump, I get yeah. that one. Uh, yeah. I don't see David Cross. But they always say that. Well, David's Cross. They, they say maybe, David Cross in disguise. It's yeah. like your face. Yeah. I actually yeah. get Jimmy Fallon in disguise a lot. Yeah. I get- um, <laughs> so you gave yourself that one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I like Brad Pitt. Yeah, on I vacation. Do, I, I'm just yeah. going through it. I have gotten Brad Pitt Denzel a couple Washington. of times. Uh, <laughs> and every time I get Brad Pitt, I make sure to share it because I want people to know. Oh, people of do say that. So, like Legends of the Fall, Brad Pitt. I mean, I'm for it. I support yeah. I support all <laughs> comments like that. Yeah. It's convenient. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think you might have just been the only one to said that one. Yeah. Hey, hey, I did a whole video <laughs> on it and I put their comments in there. I believe. Uh, there's no space more than I believe that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I agree with you. I don't yeah. see it, but yeah. I'm saying people no, say I'm it, joking. and I, I support it. Mm. Uh, Colton Witt. Mm. I've heard y'all debate what animals humans could beat in a fight, but what animal do you think would win in a fighting tournament of animals? Y'all should fill out this bracket and let us know. You can fill it out. You want to do this? Yeah, this is fine. Like the first round, we've got a puffer fish versus a piranha. One on one puffer fish. No, I, I think this is uh, is this us fighting them or or no, the animals fighting, fighting each, each other. other. Well, it looks like did you did you do the puffer I selected fish? Okay, yeah, right. yo, you can select. Yeah, 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 we're filling this out. This is, this oh. is April Madness, baby. There's a uh, no. I think a piranha. I think one on one. If it were a bunch of piranhas, all pu- puffer no, fish no, is one on one. one on one. I go puffer fish. A, a puffer fish can't do much but puff out. So it's mm-hmm. like the fight's going to get. And the piranha, piranhas that just feel like cr- lunatics to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> like they're just going to be like they're not going to care what happens to them. They're going to get beat up just because they're going to get stabbed. They're going to punch but below they're the gonna, belt. Yeah. I think they're going to do whatever it takes. They're very off the books. Yeah. Like they will – I'll take the piranha. I, s- sorry, I still Dusty. support puffer fish, but you guys got to do what you got to do. I, mean, no. I thought we built puffer a pretty good case is, uh, right there. Yeah, yeah but one-on-one, uh, I mean, puffer fish blows up. It's got spikes on it, so the piranha comes yeah. along, tries to bite it, gets the spikes we have in to do just one round. <laughs> yeah, we'll do one round, and then maybe maybe okay. we can – maybe okay. the next yeah, few podcasts we can do – What's how, how far does it go down? side too. Yeah, how far? So let's do the, just the top. Well, then, yeah, yeah. The so next, let's do it down. So three more of these. Yeah, and well, let's post this. Yeah, and so people can see it. So we're do just the like the east bracket mm-hmm. just right now, just the first right, round, right. and then the next one we can we can do it because I do like this. Well, this we've established. We've already. well, we've talked about this a lot. This is a gorilla versus a grizzly, grizzly bear, and I and I think we actually found like there is a scientific consensus about this, right? Yeah, which was it? it was, I think it was the bear wins. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah this party thing with hands, the gorilla could do it, but the bear right. is just but the bear because gorillas are so strong, but the bear is. This is this is hay bear so in our i went to the bass pro shop the other day and they have a grizzly bear a, a stuffed grizzly bear that stands mm-hmm. and i 
It's big. I looked at that thing, and I feel like – Barry Sanders could not tackle that. Oh, I mean, dude. I saw it and I was like, no, that he could thing. still do good. You know, he tweeted, he uh, retweeted that. Did no. he? Yeah. <laughs> Barry, Barry Sanders, Sanders did. did. Oh, Are you serious? Okay, well, I'm back I'm on pretty board with positive. Barry Sanders. I don't know if you can look up Barry Sanders' Twitter, but it's. I'm pretty sure he <laughs> tweeted uh, something about us. I'm back us. on board then because. And uh, yeah, I don't, I mean, he might not be. Uh, yeah, I don't know how you find it, but I'm. Uh, was it a Nate Land or you? Uh, it might have been. I don't know. I feel like if it was Nate Land. I would have seen it. Yeah. Uh, how do you do it? Yeah. Like oh you. yeah, look at this. Yeah. To be very clear, I do. Oh, I can't but not believe we haven't talked about yeah. this. Oh wow. So Barry Sanders, the official Barry Sanders, said to be very clear, I do not like my chances versus a grizzly bear. Check out Nate Bargetti's video, and then he shared our TikTok. Yeah, that's insane. Wow. So that's TikTok, so cool. I, I don't, I don't have TikTok on my phone. Uh, and uh, all right, yeah, that's well, how about that. That settles that. Well, I yeah. had no idea. We heard from the man himself. Wow. Yeah. Well, I'm not, yeah. Well, nah, I'm he can still it. do it. He's being, he's being, he's being uh, modest. modest. Yeah. He's and that's why modest. we love Barry Sanders. What's the TikTok video? Like, if you click, do you have TikTok? Yeah. Uh, like, if you click on it, like. So, this is a clip from the podcast of, yeah. of us debating this. Oh. Yeah. That's where, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I, this is what I'll say. If that bear's standing up and Barry Sanders goes full, full speed, dive tackle, he's got him. Yeah. <laughs> he's got I think him. he could, you know. <laughs> yeah. I think a grizzly bear looks at your eyes and not your waist. Yeah. Mm. So, you could yeah. juke him. Yeah. yeah. You could juke him. He juke him one time, he's off his balance, then tackle. Yeah. And hit yeah. him. See, Dusty's really into Barry doing the tackling. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm more about oh, evading yeah. a grizzly. Yeah. Because, see, I understand that Barry Sanders is a running back. Now, I get it. We had a mm. very funny clip yeah. about it. Probably, uh, yeah. I mean, very funny. Uh, some people's favorite clip. I just shared it again the other day. People mm. love that clip. Yeah. I think that's what that clip is. Well, you talked about me doing it in a drunk voice. Yeah. Barry Sanders. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Barry Sanders. Uh, but Barry I. Barry uh, Sanders. I think that he I'll could take tackle. Him. Sense. You can see his fingers <laughs> outside. You can turn this in a second. Of it. Uh, all right. What's another oh, uh, that rules. thing? Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's just go back. Wow. To that's this. that's very noteworthy. We've got a snake, which I assume is some type of python. It looks like it. It looks like a python. A, uh, yeah. Versus an alligator. Is that a python. Or a Anaconda or a python. Uh, it looks like a python. You know, this would really be great. They put a little detail on here. Yeah. But there's not. Either was, it's gigantic. A big snake. I think that snake wins. Yeah. I mean, the, it's yeah. just, it's going to get it. It's going to wrap it up. And if he, he just, if it wraps it up, it's done. Like chokes the life. Yeah. Out. And they, they're, they're quick and they're, I mean, the snake, the alligator could do it, but I just feel like the alligator is going to be. Now, mm -hmm. if they're in water, I would I would be like yeah, the alligator. This, a lot of this depends on where this fight's taking place. But I think if it's, if it's on land, if it's in the Roman Coliseum, let's say if they they've it's like half water, half land. So let's put them they in there. Go in and out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think you'd just be sitting there watching a snake and alligator <laughs> yeah. live in the Roman Coliseum. <laughs> I do too. I think that that the whole yeah the whole show back. Come on, let's go get out of there. Well, it'd be and the like, alligator be like, come on out here. Yeah. The snake would be like, no, you come in here. Right. Yeah, it'd be <laughs> ten years. Yeah, yeah. Just like so, what happened that fight? You like, no, they just live there now, no, yeah. and now we just have now they eat people. It's a zoo we, now. Yeah. <laughs> they don't even yeah. know the other one's there. Yeah, they wouldn't even. Uh, but I think push comes to shove. I think the snake's going to wrap it up. And I, I bet there's occasions where you're going to see both sides of it. I mean, like, say if it's a – that that looks like an alligator, not a crocodile. Now a crocodile would be different. Yeah. Uh, but if it looks like an alligator, uh, yeah, I mean, weird alligators alligator. are, are – uh, alligators, I, I like alligators. They're going to be – it's crazy, but – I mean, I if think, it gets the snake's head and does the death roll, it'd be uh, – It's going to be tough. Yeah. It's going to be – and, and it's going to spin. It's yeah. going to spin. Mm -hmm. But I feel like I've seen an alligator being eaten by one of those snakes. Yeah. For now, them. are these snakes uh, venomous or do no. they just kill just from strangulation? Yeah. Yeah. You don't okay. know about a python? No, I'm just clarifying a few oh. things. Yeah. You didn't know that? <laughs> It's the one thing he's we haven't even agreed on. what type of snake yeah. this is in the picture, but yeah. I think it's a python. If it's a but python, it's, uh, they're not venomous at all. No, they don't even really bite it, you. Right? Anaconda's not venomous okay. either. Okay. I mean, if you to use Latin on the last podcast, oh, and then you at two Nate, yeah, and <laughs> <Right>. then you. <laughs> this is the difference of college and not college. 
I really believe that this is that's what this is what college and not college is. Yeah. Y'all don't they you don't talk about basic uh, things. Uh, yeah, you're right. You talk Latin. I want to take that stuff. back, but Alea Octa Est. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? Yeah. See? Yeah. That's the difference. Yeah. All right, let's click that snake. We got the snake. And then uh last for this round, we got a chimpanzee versus a Komodo dragon. I think Komodo dragon, man. I Komodo mean, dragons are a chimpanzee. Is, they really eat your fingers ju- off, A though. chip of Z would just be jumping around. I mean, they could buy, but a Komodo dragon, this is like, he's like, this is what I do. Yeah. Like I, it's it's going to hit with the tail. Its bite is got just rabies and all kinds of stuff in it. Yeah. yeah. I'm going Komodo dragon too. Yeah, yeah. I think even in these pictures, one of them smiling nice at the camera. The, the other one is the photographer's keeping it away with a stick. Oh, is that what that is? That's what it looks like. Yeah. yeah. It looks like they're going, God, I'll get too close to this. You can't. Not even stab. Yeah. yeah. I would say, yeah, like if you told these two animals they had a fight, the <laughs> chimpanzee is going to be like, Oh, he's like, I don't know. And the Komodo dragon's like, I don't I don't even care who I'm fighting. Mm-hmm. Like he doesn't care. Right. So, all right, that's a good That's a good one. It's a good Yeah, yeah, go we'll revisit of. this. Huh? That's yeah, fun. I like it. I like it. So next week we're do well We'll do another region. Yeah, next week we're do another uh, yeah. region. Yeah. Next so let's post it on can you post this where people can do it maybe we can so the next round can you, is can you figure out some way of doing grizzly something? bear versus a piranha yeah well that's an easy one well let's yeah. not get ahead of ourselves yeah, think, yeah but i mean that, yeah yeah that's an easy yeah one. yeah well well we're gonna <laughs> let's enjoy the conversation there's also <laughs> uh to answer your question nate i don't know i have to ask aaron about posting it um is there a way to we'll figure it out We'll um, share it in some capacity. Yeah. This bracket fight thing, that was which I wasn't familiar with till he sent us this. There's all kinds of categories. One of them stand up comedian. Yeah. So I did it, and uh, it was it got down to you versus Roy Scovel. Oh yeah, I picked you. Thank uh, you. But uh, I just went with people I knew, and then then I get when it was then I get people I knew better and better and better. Is this in fights? Mm-hmm. Or no, in it's stand-up comedy. Just <laughs> okay. the best stand-up comedy. Let's do one so. about comedy comedians fighting each other. But That'd I mean, be a fun it, one it would too. be legendary. It would be like you against Richard Pryor, and I'd be like Nate, yeah. and you know Rory against you know the greatest comics of all time. Yeah. But you could do one with comics fighting. Yeah, that would, yeah. That would, that would, be, would funny. be fun. Yeah. yeah, just put get a list of famous. I'm, I'm sure now people are listening. We might. If, if people might send us some, but if you want us to run, I mean, if, if someone wants us to run through this, I'm not against. Uh, we're gonna we're do the animal one, so we're finish out this guy's animal one. And if you have anybody has any other ideas, and we choose them, like maybe we'll go through it, and uh, you know we can, you know if it's maybe not as big too. I mean this is it's this great. is a huge. This is like a sixty four C. Yeah, there's yeah, some yeah. smaller brackets. Yeah, there's some smaller ones that we could like just pop in and be like, all right, we got another bracket today. Mm-hmm. We can do all right. Maybe that'll be the new. Remember when we were doing the podcast and we didn't know we kept changing the. Oh yes, dude. what we were talking about. Yeah, we were doing polls. What are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. <laughs> yeah, I mean the whole it's a beginning wild west, man. was like we didn't know. Yeah, it, it was on the fly, just being like, I don't know, if this is it. I think that was before I came along, and D D'Angelo really liked it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, we had a we had a great great group back then. Uh, <laughs> well, a lot has changed since then, but one thing that hasn't changed, Babel. Oh, just trying to get into Still it. Still babbling. Oh, man. If you have, I mean, we were talking about languages earlier. Yeah, I know, but it was too close to the last oh, I understand. ad, so oh, okay. I had to All right. spread it out. If you have an upcoming summer trip abroad, my go to travel hack is Babel. I don't know, this is my hack. Uh, I've never traveled abroad, but I'm going to in October. I'm mm. going to Brazil. I've talked about this. I need to brush up on my Portuguese. Brush up. Yeah. I used to be fluent. <laughs> Babbel is the language learning app that sold more than 10 million subscriptions. 10 million people can't be wrong. Thanks to Babbel's easy bite-sized language lessons, there's still time to learn a new language before you reach your destination. We've talked about this. This is this is the fun, satisfying part of it is it's like a book with short chapters. These lessons are bite-sized, they call them. You complete them real quick. You're like, man, I'm cruising through. I'm learning stuff. I'm having fun. I'm speaking languages. Other apps use AI. We've talked about AI extensively. We don't like it. It's no, not real. And it doesn't fool people. Babel uses people that actually speak the languages. 14 different languages to choose from. Spanish, French, Italian, German. 
So many ways to learn with Babbel. You got podcasts, games, video stories, even live classes. And it's got a 20-day money-back guarantee. Take three weeks. See what you learn. Right now, you can get up to 55% off your subscription when you go to babbel.com slash Nate. Now, Babbel can be spelled a few different ways. I want to make sure you know how to spell it. It's B-A-B-B-E-L. So that's babbel.com slash Nate for up to 55% off your subscription. Double nickel. Ah, 55. Yeah. Babbel. That was one of your best. Oh, ad- that, that, oh. He's not done. Language for life. <laughs> okay. You, you, it was too much of a pause. Oh, yeah. It was too much. That yeah, was one right. of your best ad reads. I think so, too, man. Too much Thanks. of a pause there Once Nate got out of here, the vibes just got yeah. so good. It really, yeah. really just pulled in the You guys thrive. <laughs> you guys thrive when I'm not here. You know? It's nice to see y'all actually do something. Uh, <laughs> drinking my fake Fiji. Just regular water. Mm. We'll wait. So, this week, we're talking about Nashville. Oh, oh right. man. And City of Dreams. The reason I chose Nashville is because your show is at Bridgestone Arena this Saturday. We've had a lot of people email saying, we're coming to Nashville for the show. First time we've ever been to Nashville. Wow. Tell us what to do. Get out. Tell us what to see. <laughs> we want to know. So, I was thinking maybe I could put together a Nate Bargat or Nate Land maybe. Just a tourist attraction. This is the this is yeah. a brochure we're gonna put together right All now. All right. Yeah. I like this. So maybe, you know, start at Donaldson Christian Academy. Yeah. <laughs> Tour the halls. Yeah. I don't know if you can go no. inside, but no. drive by, see where Nate grew up. Yeah. So that. We'll post all of our addresses on the website uh, <laughs> to let everybody know about <laughs> it. Come by, visit us. Say yeah, hello. Gonna, yeah, because we don't have VPNs. We're just gonna be tweeting out all that stuff anyway. Mm. That's right. Oh, yeah, that's dude. right. That was Ooh. last week. That's right. It's a callback. So <laughs> maybe you've ever heard of it. <laughs> maybe tried sometime there. It's the callback king over here, dude. <laughs> you have callbacks? No, no, well, not like Dusty. Dusty does an hour and twenty minutes. The last forty minutes are just callbacks <laughs> to the first forty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's not true. true. But he does. He has a lot. I, I have more. I have a lot. Yeah, yeah. They're fun. I did do an hour. I've been doing an hour, hour ten, hour fifteen, almost every. Oh, year really? Now. Yeah. I get into it. It's a lot of, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot of dusty. Yeah, it is. Mm-hmm. People get restless. Yeah. <laughs> hey, people are uncomfortable yeah. for sure. Do you give them an option to leave? No, no. I, I, I'll, I'll wave to them, though. I don't. <laughs> you give an option. To them. If they get up, I've I got an hour. Away. Y'all can get out of here yeah. now. I'm going to keep going. You this should probably the, do an encore. Uh, yeah. Y'all just watched mainstream Dusty for an hour. Those last fifteen, we're gonna. Yeah. If you want to get yeah. into it, stick around. If you're yeah. gonna get into it, like that yeah. is what I should do. All the quarters off. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I need you to go put your phone in the car. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we're gonna frisk you. We yeah. come back. Yeah. And you can choose if you want to come listen to this or not. That is what we should do. Mm-hmm. Howard, that's crazy. That's awesome though. Do you yeah. like it? I love it. I get into it, and I just don't want to stop doing it. I remember I did a show with you at the Main Hangar restaurant in Illinois, and you were it was like your first time doing uh, like a full hour. Yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah. I mean, I, well, I remember the Main Hangar. I, oh, yeah, because there because was only you two were people. Like, because I had no time, and Dusty was like, can you please do 25? And I was like, oh, man. Yeah. And Dusty was like, well, please try to do at least 20, because I, I'm going to have to fill the rest of it. So that yeah. was, that's cool now. you're just, And I did not have that much time. No. I, didn't I mean, have, I had I didn't the have jokes, 20. but they weren't. It didn't need to be strung together that long. (laughs) So Nashville, um, if you want to go do the, again, the Nate, the Nate route, Mm -hmm. maybe a little bit at Satco. Oh yeah. I'm a big San Antonio taco fan. That's near Vanderbilt. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. I love Satco. I'll go, if I'm ever down there, I'll go there and I've been a big fan of them forever. I used to co-run a show right next yep. to that, Somewhere SOS. You yep. Remember that beach bar? Oh, yeah. I, I think that. Nate, I think you did it once, Nate, when I you were running uh, a Tonight Show set or mm-hmm. something. Mm-hmm. So I know that area really well. Satco is great. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Nice yeah. little patio out there. Oh, yeah. It's cheap. It's like fan. good vibes. It's not It's not expensive, but it's it's good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they. It's. I mean, it's my favorite. I, yeah, I go there all the time. And for bonus points, if you can find where Nate scribbled his name on the wall with the pencil. Yeah, they paint it. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna. They paint it. Oh, 
So never mind. Yeah, they because they because you go in there and it'll be it'll be filled up and then it'll but then they you go back and it'll be off. So okay. I think they paint it every so often. Oh, but everybody writes on it. It's you like, sign your name. So there's like twelve layers of just signatures of people. Probably. In there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there because there it, it disappears because I'll even try to find it sometimes when I go back, but then it's gone and you're you know and I don't think I've been back to sign it. Uh, I don't know when. I, I I went there not too long ago. Did we go there? I went there alone not too long ago. I was uh, and you I went downtown for, for something. There? No, uh, I didn't. But I went there alone. Uh, I went there and just oof, just pounded. I get I get uh, usually four tacos. The bean and cheese tacos are great, mm-hmm. and I get uh, usually two steak tacos with bean and cheese and lettuce. And then I get uh, chips and cheese, uh, some queso. chips and queso, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I dip my tacos in the queso. Like oh, I don't yeah. want, like when I go, it's like I want to be like I got my own queso. Like I don't want oh, everybody sure. riding Sharing me going queso. like, oh come on, yeah, you like yeah, it's yeah. not for the table. It's for like mm-hmm. it's for me. I'm gonna drink it. <laughs> if I'm at a Mexican restaurant and I order queso, I make I say not to the table, but to the, I go I'll have that for me, just so the table knows. Yeah, it's, this is not for everybody. Yes, they will assume, and you're like, no, no, no. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, sometimes you do have queso for the table. You go, hey, right. That's why they, it's not a table. dumb assumption. But yeah. I want to make it clear, this is not for y'all. Yeah, yeah. Y'all don't know how to do you it. You're breaking off the, chips. Yeah, you in don't want to be yeah. policing people on the chips either. I hate oh, doing that. But do, yeah, I don't want you. I don't like to watch people digging mm. it. Salsa is. I, I I used to not be like that, but now I'm like, I don't like people dipping in my stuff. I don't mm-hmm. like they're dipping and then then they scrape it all around the edge of the bowl. It's just a nightmare yeah. watching people. Yeah. yeah. You know. I had well, a nephew, he would just lay the chip kind of on top and just kind of let some stuff come onto it and I'm like, this is gross, man. What do you we're all oh, eating just that. soak it up. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> wet chip. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll give you a little bit of Nashville history lesson. Oh, let's hear it. Uh Nashville was founded by two explorers, Jason J- Clark Good guess. Uh, James Robertson and John Donaldson. Oh, wow. Wait, say it again. Sorry, I was. Uh, You're going to recognize mid- a few I'm of these I'm sorry. I just, I'll just i just tell you what I did. What? I texted Laura. It's not for my diet. I said, can you order the old Chicago pizza? <laughs> 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 I don't, you know. I'll be, I'll be honest with you. And I'm seeing her respond. She's like, hey, you're not supposed to be on the – Trying to keep me healthy. Uh-huh. Well, Eric, Eric, hopefully won't listen to this. Do yeah. Eric? Does Eric conspire with Laura sometimes? Yeah, a lot of people conspire with Eric. <laughs> Eric is a conspirer, but I couldn't. Uh, yeah, I was like just thinking about it, and then my brain just went to it, and I thought, you know, when we talked about we we're talking about pizza this episode, mm-hmm. right? And then, yeah. Uh, yeah, and so then I, I couldn't let it go. That'll get it going. And I've been on a good diet. I've been eating good. I haven't eaten much calories today. And so I was like, you know what? I could eat a little personal old yeah. Chicago pizza, meat lovers. Mm-hmm. And uh, mm-hmm. so I just texted her to do that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have, a, I have a problem. Yeah. He goes, you have a problem? He goes, no, 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 no. You, well, you stopped the show literally <laughs> Yeah. to text and you're talking about something about me. You're saying nice things about me. Yeah, go yeah, go yeah, yeah. see all the places. Nate, you want to come sit in this chair where Nate once texted during the podcast? <laughs> hey, can you order me a personal pan? And there's a lot of food talk going on this mm-hmm. podcast. You know? I don't yeah. mind it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I'll re- re- repeat what I said. Nashville was founded by two explorers, James Robertson and John Donaldson. There you go. James Robertson. There's a parkway named after him. Right. In downtown Nashville. And John Donaldson, the... Rundown community of Donaldson. <laughs> rundown. It's not rundown. The Dirty D. Uh, That's where I live. Yeah, Don- Donaldson Christian Academy. Uh, yeah. Old Hickory, Hermitage, Donaldson. That's all kind of kind of the same. It's the research Especially triangle. Old Hickory and Hermitage, yeah. yeah. Old Hickory and Hermitage, are ba- I don't know why there's a... Yeah, I guess, I guess Le- Lebanon Road kind of separates them, I feel like. Yeah. Yeah, it does. But both named after Andrew Jackson. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Or I guess the Her- Hermitage is named after his home, the Hermitage. Yeah. Old Hickory is what Andrew Jackson was called. Mm-hmm. God, what a lame name. What do you say? I think like, when Old people Hickory is a cool name. You don't think that's a good so you're nickname? You're called a tr- an old tree? Old, like sturdy. Like yeah. you're like yeah, sturdy strong. maple. There he yeah. is. Ugh. Yeah. You rely, reliable. Yeah. All right. I like it. I think Andrew Jackson was a lot. We, like, you would be like an Andrew Jackson president. Like, just kind of. The people's president. He was president. like having duels. The yeah. people's president. Yeah. 
Yeah, he had I think big parties at his house. Yeah, Hannah, my wife worked at the Hermitage for a while. Mm. She did tours. I yeah. still have never been. Yeah, it's it's crazy. Nice. I've been there a couple of times. I talked about it. That's another one I talked about in this special yeah. as a comedian. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, I was about to say <laughs> Andrew Jackson was not a good person. Uh, I don't yeah. know if that. Uh, no, that was the guy told me that. That's that was, oh, okay. That, I've never been. to- Dusty's legitimately never yeah. seen your act. So you, no, you I know, did I watch know. the latest. I did watch the latest one. I'm I'm just, just, I don't know. I'm just yeah. kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, fast forward. <laughs> yeah, let's get to the end. Yeah, uh, I don't know. He goes. <laughs> she goes. Why are you watching? It? He goes. I don't, this is the guy. Um, uh, when I go Mondays, I go hang out with that. Yeah, that guy. Yeah. yeah can you believe that he's got his. Yeah. Amazon. I guess you can even put anything on Amazon. <laughs> uh, but they did. Uh, uh, I've still never been in the Hermitage. I, the only thing I've ever even done back there is uh, my niece Maya ran a cross country race back there, and we went and watched her. And so I, but I just have never. I don't know why I missed it. I, I think I say I might say this in the podcast, but I'm out of in the special, but I missed it in. Because I, I was I, when I talk about not going to DC, Washington DC, in Hermitage, because I switched schools. Yeah, I went second, fourth grade in Robertson County, Coopertown, and then fifth to I went Dupont Elementary. Fifth, sixth, I was Dupont Elementary, and uh, they all and I just missed the years. Well, the sixth grade I didn't go because of the Gulf War, DC, and the other one. I just switched schools, and they both went the following year. Oh, really? So, like, F- Coopertown went in fifth grade, and DuPont went in fourth grade, and then I just missed it and then still have never gone. I need to go. Yeah. yeah. You should check it out. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's not it's not going to blow your mind, but it's pretty cool. Yeah. 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 I've never been. Uh, Ruth just had some friends in town, and they went to two tourist attractions in Nashville I've never been to. Um, Loveless Cafe. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. been there. I've never there. and uh, the Bluebird Cafe. I've never been there. I don't, I don't think know I've if ever I've been, been there. to Bluebird. I know of it, yeah. but, but never been there. It's apparently a little bit like. I mean, it's always been an iconic thing, but kind of like the Comedy Cellar got bigger when Louis show happened. Yeah, yeah. After the show Nashville, right. I think the Bluebird Cafe like went to a new level of tourists. I bet Nashville people always knew about it, but now it became like a destination spot yeah. mm-hmm. for people visiting the city. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I tell people to go there. I bet it's great. Mm-hmm. I think you got to get tickets early because I think it sells out immediately. Somebody sold out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dang. So they they called it Fort Nashboro and built a fort. Which, Nashboro Village. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Nashboro Village. They have a golf course. Nashboro Golf Course. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. I used to live in Nashboro Village. Oh yeah. It's rough, man. Yeah, we judged the people that live there. <laughs> I'm sure you did. No, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Right. It Where was nice at, nice at that's one time. Madison? It's an Antioch. Yeah. Oh, okay. Nashville Village was, yeah, I think it was like a. It was nice yeah. in the, back in the day. They have uh, a fun little golf course in there. Yeah. No, we weren't playing golf back yeah. there. We were, they have a cool golf course. I don't I don't know what they've done with it then, but it was like a fun, they have some fun holes. Yeah. We were eating Little Caesars and locking the doors. That's yeah. what we were doing. We were playing golf. Well, this Fort Nashboro was on the riverfront at First Avenue. We're First Avenue. There's still a replica of Fort Nashboro downtown on First Avenue now. They built a fort to protect themselves from wild animals and Native Americans. Uh, oh, I've seen this downtown. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I've, I've seen it. Yeah, I've been there. That's how all houses used to look. Huh? When was uh, this? That's a fort. That, yeah, that's what we'd call a house now. Uh, 1780? 1779. <laughs> oh, okay, sorry. I didn't know. I was just so off. <laughs> Get it right. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Nashville was named 1779. I was uh, 200 years before me. That's when Nashville was founded. Mm-hmm. Yeah, think about that. It took 200 years <clears throat> to get you to get me out, to get and you I in. finally go. I guess I'll see what you're about. <laughs> yeah. You want to let it develop a bit before you come. Yeah. In. yeah, yeah, yeah. At the beginning, I was waiting for Bridgestone to be built. Um, make them get a target. And stuff. I go. Well, where am I going to go talk at? <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, All right, well, we'll get a dome. Uh, It was named after Francis Nash, uh, Confederate, I mean, not Confederate, American Revolutionary War general. Never heard of him. Francis Nash. Apparently they were fans of him. They named it after him in his honor. Mm. Did he or did he force him to do it? Was he here? Was he involved? I don't think he was here. They just loved the guy. I guess. 
I didn't read anything about him. Well, being that's kind of over now. I think if a new city got incorporated, I don't. How many would be named after military generals None. these days? None. That's what I'm saying. None. Yeah, they'd, it'd be like, you know, like Oprahville and stuff yeah. like that. It wouldn't be. I no. can't even name. Well, a I think Petraeus we already, town or I mean, yeah, I mean, we got our. I think we already got the names. Right, we're done naming. Well, there's are towns even being named. Still? I bet towns are still being named. They're being renamed. They're being incorporated. Yeah. For yeah. sure. What's incorporated? Like they're they're becoming an official city. Oh, with a post office and a PO yeah. box and all that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just within another community, just some land. They're like, you know what? We'll make this a town. Now. You can find out what it would cost to have a town named Nate Land. Yeah, I'll look into it. Thanks. Yeah, <laughs> I would like to know. It looks like something Michael Scott would tell Pam to look into. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I would like to know what it. Well, if you built like, because what if you did want to build? But you got to have land. Yeah, I mean, I feel like is there, there's no more free land. Let's go in, buy right? a bunch of land. Is all land not, there's no more free land now. Well, I mean, if the government wants it, they can do eminent domain. Yeah, yeah. But I, know, I don't know but, what you mean by, no. Yeah, the government can just take, I'm just saying there's no more like land that's like, you know, there's nothing left to discover. Oh. I think there's plenty left to discover, dude. I thought uh, you meant like land that just no one had claimed yet. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, there's no unclaimed land. Not unless uh, it's a remote island a lot somewhere. Of, yeah, there's a lot of wild, empty ocean, it appears. I bet there's yeah. some land out there they're not telling us about. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you ever look at, like, what is it, like, the Pacific to the Atlantic, that whole just empty space in there? There's something out there. <laughs> there's another America out there. There's something out there. They don't let you fly there. Yeah. Or boat. They don't let you boat there? I mean, there's got to be something out there. That's a vast yeah. ocean. If that's right, there's got to be something out there. Yeah. I'm they, not sure where you're talking about. Well, I don't know. You got to pull up a, a globe. Yeah. And I mean, because I can't, I just, you know, I, I'm just trying to tell you a thing that I'm visual. Yeah, but the, yeah, you're right. Pacific Ocean is so huge that there's probably a lot out there. If you zoom out from mm-hmm. our Nashville. Yeah. I mean, look at like, even in between, but like- no. I'm trying to go the world view here. It doesn't let me. Yeah. But even there, like look at like to the to the west coast there of the United States. Yeah. Yeah. All that space out there. Come on. It's something out there. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> well, Hawaii's right there in the middle. Yeah, yeah, there's Hawaii. Trash is out there somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. That's a that is big. It's man. a lot of space. Yeah, man. That's what I'm saying. There's a lot. <coughs> that is it is uh, I don't disagree with you there. It, yeah. There's stuff out there we probably have no idea about. Um but as far as the United States goes, I think all the land's been claimed. For Australia, I'll be honest with you, doesn't look that far away. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. From what? Really. From us? Mm-hmm. That's <laughs> pretty far, dude. That's the whole Pacific Ocean. Yeah. But it that's looks- like Washington to the bottom of South America. Well, yeah. Well, that's a long trip, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's no not- No one complains that's about that to- fight. <laughs> <laughs> that's not to scale. That's That's not a globe. That's a flat map. Nobody complains about the flight from Washington <laughs> yeah. to what? Well, exactly. Paraguay? Like, <laughs> yeah. Argentina. Yeah. Paraguay. Yeah. No one's like, oh, you don't want to get on that flight. It's actually, Par- is it Paraguay? I've always called wow. it Paraguay. Yeah. Mm. Wow. What's what's down below? <laughs> <laughs> so it's probably Paraguay? No, no, no. It's just funny. I've always called it, like you talk about it a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Do you mention it a lot? Uh, quite a bit. Yeah. <laughs> There's Whoa, Antarctica look at that. Down yeah, here. see, Antarctica. That's what I'm saying. They We're not even allowed to go there. People go, oh, you can go there, but then you can just go to that little peninsula right there, and they give you a guided tour. But all that land down there, we're not allowed to go but there. But there are scientists and stuff down there. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of, they're saying there's a lot of trust. That we're you not go, allowed oh, to go. Okay. I had a friend who just went. Yeah, to the peninsula. Probably, to, went, probably yeah. went right there in Livingston. Yeah, had a right guided there. tour on the peninsula. You're not allowed to just go and roam. Yeah. <coughs> Government officer with a pistol on your back the I whole time. You, I you bet know? if you had a boat and tried to get out there, they would stop you before you ever got there. Now, I saw a guy recently on Joe Rogan who said that Antarctica wasn't discovered until, I don't know, the 1700s or something like that. But there's ancient maps, hundreds and hundreds of years older, that show it. And he thinks it's because it was a lost civilization that there used to be people there, and then somehow they lost connection with the rest of the world, and mm-hmm. we just didn't even know they existed for hundreds of years. And they became penguins. Could they have froze <laughs> to get? Like, maybe it used to be hot, now then it froze over, and yeah. 
1820 it was discovered. Yeah, I mean, I just think that, you know, you're not allowed to, apparently there's like this Antarctic or Antarctic Treaty where all the countries have come together and been like, all right, no one can go there. And that's suspicious. Mm -hmm. The Antarctic Treaty system. Yeah, they should be like, if you can get there, you can go. Right, just Tough explore, to get to. walk around, you know. If yeah. you freeze to death, that's that's on you. Yeah. Earth's only continent without a native human population. It regulates international relations with respect to Antarctica. Hmm. Yeah, it's like, let us go down there and wander around a little bit. It was the first arms control agreement established during the Cold War, setting aside the continent as a scientific preserve, establishing freedom of scientific investigation and banning military activity. Yeah. Well, yeah. They, yeah. So they don't want, you can't go blow up. Well, you can't go claim it as you can't go yeah. annex it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but know. let's just walk around. Let us just take a little journey down there. Wait, so you can buy a plane ticket to Antarctica? I don't no. think so. You'd have to go to, well, first you go to Paraguay. No, you got to, yeah, from, you can enter it from uh, Argentina down here. But not on your own. See how close Argentina is to Antarctica? Mm. That's a hop, skip, and a jump. Yeah. Oh, so you just fly over. Yeah. Well, who who went there? You had a friend that just. Yeah, my friend Corey went on, I think I think Dusty's right. I think he flew, flies to South America, and then you take a ship until down to Antarctica. And then you get off. It is a tourist thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Guided yeah, it's pretty tour. pretty cool. But it, it does exist. Right. right. But it, uh, just a guided tour. You're not allowed to just go hang out down there on yeah. your own. Yeah, but is it fr it's freezing, it's right? It's way below zero. Right. But it's like, that's what I'm saying, though. Just let, allow us. And then if, you know, we get down there, and we're like, this is actually a lot really cold. And then we'll <laughs> head on back. You know what I mean? Yeah. We're just not allowed to go. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Let it's us. only 19 degrees right there now. We can go check it That's out. So I mean, bad. we've talked about this in previous episodes. I think there has to be a landing strip somewhere for planes, and there's just not a safe one there. <laughs> Dude, the South Pole is negative 60 degrees. I don't know. If I'm yeah, sorry. I mean, that's pretty yeah. cold. Yeah. I, it sounded like I was laughing at what you were yeah. saying. I'm well, sorry. Well, what's it going to be at 5 o'clock? <laughs> <laughs> negative 33. Uh, it's going to warm different. up. Not yeah, that's, that bad. Not so, not so, yeah. Like that you can't even live in. Yeah. But, yeah. but what if they're making those temperatures up? Right. That could be. Yeah. yeah. Could, Who, who's down there reporting it? Yeah. yeah. Feels like negative 94. See. Yeah, we just have this weird trust in scientists. We all just trust scientists. You know, I don't trust yeah. them. <laughs> <laughs> the, the wind's coming from the east. You're like, is it? <laughs> what if there is no East? <laughs> <laughs> what are we even talking about? <laughs> Nashville. Talk about Nashville. Talk about Nashville. Yeah. <laughs> the Antarctica of Tennessee. It started because he's talked about making a Nate land, a city yeah. called Nate land. And then yeah. we somehow got to Antarctica. <laughs> By the way, it costs $115 to name a street. I can't find city. It's going to depend on the city, but if you want to start naming some streets, one hundred and fifteen dollars. It's just a processing fee. It's just paperwork. There's no actual cost, but then the developer can approve it or not. Whoever whoever owns okay. the area. But anyway. I think there is a new theme park opening in Nashville. Is there? I believe so. I think it's like a children's based uh, based around children's books, and I don't know where it is. Storyville Gardens. A proposed 100-acre theme park near Nashville that could be opened by mid-2022. <laughs> it didn't happen. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> could be. Could not be. I don't want to take my Nate Land idea. We're going. We're bringing Opryland back. I like that. We're doing it. Pre-sale tickets. Opryland when I was a kid. Coming soon. So this place is. It's going to open soon. Just a little behind schedule. And we get it. It's been a hectic year. I mean, I don't think they've broken ground, but. I think they, this was announced right before COVID, and I uh -huh. haven't heard anything since. Well, we can plan a trip. Oh, investor opportunities. Let's get into that. What about yeah. – are you got our naming rights available? <laughs> yeah. Well, check the investor, investment interest and see yeah, what's you're like. Are you oh. interested right. in changing the name so let's say and, and theme? Let's million. Uh, Aaron Weber. What did you say, Dusty? Interested in changing the name and theme. Yeah. <laughs> if uh, so, we'll throw in a little bit. You're putting uh, – Oh. You go submit it? Yeah. Oh, wow. You just don't ever do a phone number? No. I don't want them actually calling me. Uh Oh, well, they're probably not going to get in touch then. <laughs> like, they're not. Your area code was 123. Yeah. Well, that's my real email. Yeah. So. All right. We'll see what Let's happens. see what they do. Mm-hmm. 
right. So Nashville. Let's just wait around till it happens. Yeah. Old. <laughs> a lot of a lot of businesses headquartered here. Bridgestone. Oh. Captain D's. Captain I D's. That. I didn't know. Well, that. we don't take enough pride in Captain D's as a city. I've never heard of that talked about. There's not even that many Captain D's left. Yeah, we don't. Sh- we uh, we, we won't shut I up like about. Captain D's. We just got That's a brand new saying. one in Hermitage. But they, we they talk about Hattie B's all day long. But we, I didn't even know Captain D's is from here. Yeah, we should. Captain D's is great. Captain D's has been around for a long time. I loved it. I used to go, go there a lot on Sundays. Yep, Sundays was yeah. a big deal to go there. You stood in that line, ordered your food, and sit at the table. Get the I little crunchies. Hush yeah. puppies. Yeah. Well, you know, like the fried fish yeah. would have the extra little crunchies and the uh, yeah. Oh, yeah yeah. Not a hush puppy guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, I'm not either. I liked them. You would. (laughs) (laughs) I like cornbread balls. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. Uh, Logan's Roadhouse. Oh. I like a Logan's Roadhouse, too. Yeah, me too. Dollar General. Oh, wow. I had no idea. Yeah. (laughs) Dollar General has taken over the country. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Yeah. They're They're doing good. Their headquarters are up in Goodlitzville. Okay. And uh, I met with the CEO. This was years ago when I first started doing comedy. He wanted to hit someone to help him write a funny speech. And I met with him a couple of times. <laughs> and it was the most money I'd ever gotten. So I was really into oh, this. Yeah. And I put a lot of work into it. And the last time we met, he said, just what's some funny jokes you've heard that people laugh at from other comedians? And I'm like, well, I that you know, that wouldn't be authentic to whatever. He's like, I don't care. And he just wanted me <laughs> to take the funniest jokes from whoever, you know, right. for him to tell them and stuff like that. He didn't have any faith in your writing skills. And that was his, it was his bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Uh-huh. You could have wrote him a good speech. Like you were trying to write like, lo- like. Yeah, yeah. I remember there was one joke. I think like, I remember uh, this. Yeah. I mean, it was big deal to me at the time. And he, it was, I wrote something like, um, um, <laughs> I'm I'm trying to get more hips, so I'm changing the name of Dollar General to 50 Cent or something like that, you know. <laughs> and I don't know. It was a little bit better than that, I think. But but HR shot it down. They were oh, like, yeah. we can't say that. It'll make right. you look like, I don't know, whatever. And he finally was just like, what's a funny joke you've heard on TV that people would laugh at? So. You should have given him my joke, which mm. is, uh, I never had any family in the military, but my sister did one tour with the Dollar General. <laughs> <laughs> That's better than anything I wrote. Yeah. But I did not know you existed at the time. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, it would be funny if he met with you and he was just like, man, maybe I'll do a sad speech. So yeah. He just like changes the whole talk. Did he do something? <laughs> I never I never saw the finished product, but I think I remember giving him like Helen DeGeneres has a joke, something about my grandma walks, I don't know, four miles a day or whatever. Mm-hmm. And she's 98 now and we have no idea where she's at or something like, you know, just like. Joke jokes like yeah. that, and I think yeah. he just told them. Yeah, so it wow. totally changed. But anyway, uh, some other things headquartered here: Hunt Brothers Pizza, oh. Oh, Charlie's. Ooh, wow, I love No Charlie's. I had no idea all this. Was... Jay Alexander's. Yeah, we've been doing. Oh, we've been doing a lot of stuff, man. Yeah, we don't take enough pride in this stuff. I think. I got an Old Charlie's like right we... down from my house. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're the the home of chains. They get started here. Right. Right. And then do well other places. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that is. Well, you go, to, like, you go to Northwest Arkansas, they love the fact that Walmart started there, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. But we've got Dollar General, and uh, we don't seem to care. I think we care. Oh, we, there's not a Dollar General museum, you know? Give it uh, some time. Give it some time. <clears throat> yeah. You're right. You're right. Yeah. We're, you know. You're right. Yeah. Okay. We're good. Walmart's, you know, we'll get there. I counted seven on the way from my house to McMinnville. Walmart's or Dollar, uh, Dollar General? Generals? Wow. It's yeah. pretty good. Yeah, I don't know why you'd do that. But. <laughs> well, I, <laughs> you've I, never been on that drive to McMinnville. Yeah, there's yeah, yeah, not a lot going on. <laughs> but I mean, the fact that you just, when you left that day, you go, I'm going to count the Dollar Generals. Well, I, I, I spotted them on the way down. I was like, man, there's a lot of Dollar Generals. So on the way back, I was like, I'm going to count them. Yeah. I think it was seven. Uh. You know what I wish was located here? Viore. <laughs> oh, Viore dude. Uh, is located here. <laughs> but headquartered, I mean. <laughs> yeah, they're, I think they're yes, yeah, California, but they are uh, they do a lot of stuff here. They've been sponsoring this podcast for since the years. Beginning. Sure. years. <laughs> I mean, they're yeah. lifers. Yeah, they're great. Uh, I love Viore. That's it. The jacket I wore, the silver, the camo, and I'm more than another one. Uh, I wear it every day. Uh, the whole podcast crew loves their Viore, all things 
We have our great athletic core shorts. I wear those my, my, as I'm running and breaking, hurting my legs. But uh, I put those athletic core shorts. I probably, I've thought about it. I'm probably going to wear them every day. Cause I, on the, when I wear them when I work out, cause they have like the inside the, the boxer lining. Oh, love it. Love it. And so it's, uh, it's already in there. <coughs> And so, like, I'll just, like, when I wake up, it's like you just throw those on, and then you got some shorts with pockets, and you can just go about your day when you're on the road, like, e- super easy. They look good. Uh, and I bring my little my Viore jacket that's uh, kind of a light, like, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go. Uh, it's also, it's really made well. It does not wear out, like, uh, fast like some other brands. Viore is a new outlook on performance apparel, perfect if you're sick and tired of the traditional old workout gear uh any activity you can wear it i mean yeah all exercise and then people wearing this stuff everywhere and you can they dress it up they dress it up nice uh viore <laughs> is an investment in your happiness for our listeners they are offering uh uh 20% off your first purchase get yourself some of the most comfortable and versatile clothing on the planet at viore.com/nate that's v u o r i dot com slash nate. Not only will you receive twenty percent off your first purchase, but enjoy free shipping on any U.S. orders over seventy five dollars in free returns. Go to viori dot com slash nate and discover the versatility of viori clothing. Viori dot com slash nate. One thing you should probably check out in Nashville is hot chicken. Oh yeah, Nashville is the hot chicken capital. So there's Hattie B's, you already referenced. Mm-hmm. That's the tourist attraction. Um, that There's multiple locations now, I feel like, in Nashville. Right. I don't know. I, it's not a tourist attraction. It's becoming a – it's a real thing. It's uh, – but it's, I it's, didn't mean that negatively. It's a place when people yeah. come to town, they go, I got to try Hattie B's. Oh, yeah, yeah. I thought it meant like it was – you no, know, it's, like, it's not the like famous. the Statue of Liberty. You know? And I was about to say, uh, that's great. These friends of, of – our podcast yeah. and, and yeah, yeah. Uh, I know the yeah. Hattie B's yeah yeah you, they're open and vague. well Prince's Hot Chicken was the is the original that's the old school one, yeah right? that's what I was going to get to yeah. get to Prince's was where it started so the story is I never heard this do you know how the hot chicken started mm-hmm. you want to share it it was uh, a woman who was mad at her husband girl uh, boyfriend oh okay let's not nitpick the details all right fair <laughs> enough it was a woman mad at a man yeah. And to get back at him, I think she alleged he cheated on her or something. Yep. So to get back at him, she put all kinds of spices in his chicken that day. Extra seasoning. And it backfired. He loved it. So she started selling it. Uh, That's very close. He started selling it. It was Thornton Prince. Oh, that's a way better story. (laughs) He he took it and started selling it. Thornton Prince, his girlfriend suspected of him of fooling around with some women. So she put a lot of extra seasoning just to... Yeah, set him yeah. on fire. He loved it, and he started uh, selling it. Wow, when was this? Nineteen uh, thirties. Wow, wow. Did he stay together with that woman? Do you think? <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> but he opened Prince's Hot Chicken Shack. Uh, it was originally on Jefferson Street. Now I think it's moved to. Um, well, as far as bear attacks. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad y'all heard that too. <laughs> My bad. Yeah. <laughs> I think now that they're on Nolensville Road, uh, yeah, you've told that story about you and uh, Hannibal. Hannibal going there, yeah, yeah. yeah. It took a long time to get our food, and well, and my dad. So I brought it home. Oh yeah, yeah. When I brought the uh, Prince's <laughs> hot chicken, I brought. So me and Hannibal go get it. Mine doesn't come out, <clears throat> so I have to kind of just take it home with me because he's already done eating. So then I take it, I take, I wasn't living here. I wasn't moved back here yet. So I was mm-hmm. just staying at my parents' house. So I, I go back and I had a show and I think I did a show with, with Johnny W. And uh, I think we did a church somewhere. And I remember I had to drive to that church. So I just set it there and I was like, well, I got to go now. I got to go to this other gig. And so I left and then my dad came home and then just started eating it because he didn't know whose it was. So he just started, he was like, oh, there's some chicken. I'll just eat this chicken. He mm-hmm. just started taking big bites of it, just eat, not knowing it's hot chicken. So he was yeah. eating it like it's regular chicken. And it doesn't hit you right away sometimes. Yeah. It's like the after. Yeah, I mean, so yeah. it's like, yeah, it's very funny to be like, he was just sitting there, just going, you know, it's like a couple bites, mm-hmm. you know, watching TV, just not knowing, and then just, <laughs> boom, just lit him up. Changes your day Ch- instantly. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he was like, what is with this chicken? Uh 
So yeah, you can go to Prince's, you can go to Hattie B's. Uh, you know, I like a, a place that I really like, and I take people when they come here now. Downtown on Broadway, they have that whole food court. They have that mm-hmm. um, fifth and broad. Fifth and broad. They have that whole food hall. I don't know if you were going to talk about that, but I love it. I, they have a Hattie B's down at the bottom, mm-hmm. and then all up, it's a bunch of local restaurants yeah. inside that, so you can get this just great variety of stuff all there. It is great. And uh, yeah, I mean, I love it. What I always do, I take people there. I take them to Roberts Western World, and then I take them to Kid Rock's Bar. That's what I for contrast of Roberts. Roberts yeah. is my favorite, and then I take them to Kid Rock's for contrast, and it's also fun. You ever been to the Country Music Hall of Fame? I have been. Yeah, love it there too. I mean, I love country. For a little while, my name was in the Country Music Hall of Fame. I don't know if it still is, but. Oh, this is fun. Well, yeah. I was supposed to be on the show in March of 2020 when they shut the show down for COVID. And it was the first time the Opry had ever been shut down. So it was called like the show that didn't happen. So they put that lineup in the Country Music Hall of Fame. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. And someone from my high school just was visiting and saw my name on that. That's cool. Yeah. That is really cool. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I love that area too i've yeah. gone down there and it's a great like if you're coming this weekend are you uh yeah this weekend to mm-hmm. bridgestone it is a good it's on broadway uh it's right across the street from bridgestone uh there is uh a yeah a bunch of little you can go grab a bunch of different kind of stuff in there and uh you know you can sit wherever you want mm-hmm. it's like a it seems like a nice, it's like a nice, cool food court. Yeah. It's what Nashville needed, really, in my opinion, because Broadway's great and it's cool, but it's like, that's a nice place to kind of escape from all the madness and, and just kind of go up, get a little food, chill out, because mm. it gets wild downtown Nashville. Oh, well, a lot of drinking, a lot of yeah. bachelor parties. I mean, a lot it's of, fun, like yeah, not scary, fun. but it's wild. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. You mentioned bachelorette parties in 2018, New York Times called Nashville the hottest destination for bachelorette parties in the country. There's now apparently a CMT reality sh- show called Bachelorette Weekend set in Nashville where they follow bachelorettes around. But you will see a lot in downtown Broadway. Mm-hmm. That show sounds pretty terrible, <coughs> but I I do like that yeah. it's Bachelorette Capital because I think it says that the city's safe. It's like, it's fun and it's safe. So like women feel very comfortable just coming here having their parties. Mm. That's, that's a what good, I think it says. It's oh, a good spin on that. That's, yeah. good, that's, yeah. that's yeah. a heck of a spin, dude. Yeah. 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 That's nice. Yeah, I think it's great. I but, mean, I'm I'm glad Zanies is not downtown, so yeah, we don't right. really experience that too much. But uh, but that, it happens. Yeah, that bar somewhere SOS that I used to run a show at, they had a contract with one of the pedal tavern companies that they were a stop for those. So during our show, two or three times throughout the hour and a half show, uh, another bachelorette party would show up. Wow. To use the bathroom and get drinks <coughs> and then get back on the Where? pedal tower. Ta- at somewhere SOS, right oh. near Satco down there. Oh, okay. So every, you know, every 25, 30 minutes, one of them will show up, just ruin the show for a few minutes and then oh, they leave. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's kind of fun to you, when you know they're coming. Yeah. It's kind of fun. Yeah. So if you want to take a photo, a touristy photo for social media, there's the I Believe in Nashville mural, which mm-hmm. is in 12 South. There's the Angel Wings mural. Also in 12 South. Mm-hmm. People. And then there's, of course, Zanies. Got to go take your picture in front of Nate or on the, the dangerous side of Zanies. <laughs> yeah. Dusty. Yeah, Dusty yeah you, go, you might get robbed, but get a picture in front of me too. Yeah. You know? yeah. Do, it the, do it in the daytime. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of people that have been on this podcast on that wall. Leanne Morgan's right next to you. Yeah. Henry Cho's on that wall. Yeah. John Crest. John Crest, yeah. And if you put, buy a ticket and go inside, you can see Aaron and I there you go. on the wall. Yeah, yeah, we're in there somewhere. Yeah. So in 1996, Bridgestone Arena was built. Um, has it always been called Bridgestone Arena? It has not. It's actually had four names. Okay. Oh, can you, wow. Can you name any of them? No. No. Maybe you tell me. I'll... Well, it originally did not have a sponsor, so it was just called the Nashville Arena. Oh, that's kind okay. of boring. I like that. Is that when the Nashville Cats played there? They did play there, yeah. The Nashville I Cats. went to the championship game for the Nashville Cats. <coughs> I think it was the first time I ever went to that arena. What were they? They were an arena football team. Yeah. Oh, okay. And we wow. made it to the championship. Mm. And then I remember going to it. Wow. And we lost. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the Cats announced the Predators. Yeah. The, the K A T S Cats? Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
No, it's a different one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was C. I don't know what that is. Uh, no, I'm just, yeah, it was the cats with a K. Okay. And the Predators got their name. I've probably mentioned this before. When they were digging downtown Nashville in like early 1970s, they found saber tooth tiger fang and mm. some other bones. They didn't even know saber tooth tigers were in this part of the world. Yeah. And it's on display at the arena. Is it? Yeah, that, uh, that skull with the okay. teeth. Wow. It's pretty cool. So that's why they're called the Predators. So it was originally the Nashville Arena. Then it became the Gaylord Entertainment Center. Oh, boy. The Geck. Some people would call oh, it. Oh, the Geck. Yeah. You remember that? That's probably when uh, you're in New York, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Then it was the Somme Center. That was a short time. And then it was Bridgestone Arena. And that stuck. Yeah. I and mean, I might remember that Bridgestone just been around for now. It's a while. Yeah. And just uh, last month, March 3rd, Morgan Wallen set the attendance record, 19,292 fans in attendance. Now, it was a free concert, so I could have done that. But <laughs> <laughs> Is that, where is, let me see, I don't know what that is. Let me see, I want to see what? what his record attendance. It's just what I read, 19,292. Uh, yeah. You don't think that's right? Mm. I mean, I just... Got it off the internet. <laughs> yeah. So it may be false. Yeah. But that was just last month. Now, I don't know Morgan Wallen's music. What is it about him that makes him so good? I couldn't tell you. Oh, you don't like him? I, I'm, not a, I'm not a fan of it. Okay. Well, I, he, I uh, mean, not, you know, I know people are. People love him. and uh, I've, But I've tried to listen. It's just not my kind of music. I don't think you've heard a lot of his stuff. I every once in a while I'll go on Spotify, I'll pull something up and I'll go, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna give this a try. And it's not my kind he of He has music. songs that you would genuinely love. Yeah. He's got a really interesting he just put out an album that had 36 songs on it, which yeah. is just crazy. Yeah. I started so. listening to some of those. <laughs> I don't think he has I don't think that many people were there. Nineteen thousand okay. because I I knew some people that went and they were yeah. saying like it wasn't like it was all because they just did it last minute. I knew they, Mumford and Sons was Nineteen oh four seven. Casey Musgraves did eighteen thousand three hundred. Yeah. A lot of tickets, man. Yeah, nineteen two ninety two. I I I don't know. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's well. That's yeah, I don't know. Those are free tickets, but if I want to buy tickets, I tell you where I go. Game time. It's our new sponsor. <laughs> We're also busy. If we want to buy tickets with last minute, go to day, Game Time, and they have killer deals on last minute tickets. And includes their best price guarantee. Ooh. Game time is the fast and easy way to buy tickets for all sports, music, comedy, and theater theater near you. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. I like the Game Time app because they make it so easy to see the seat view right there in the app. It's very quick and simple to use. They're only ticket- they do make it easy to see. Yeah. It's like have you looked at it? Uh-huh. Yeah, uh-huh. it's pretty it's pretty awesome. It's like nice. you see the pictures, just you see where right. the thing is we're all busy forget planning months in advance game time is deals on tickets right up the day of the event the game time guarantee means you'll always get the best price snag the tickets without the stress with game time download the game time app create an account and use code nate for twenty dollars off your first purchase terms apply again create an account and redeem code nate for twenty dollars off download game time today last minute tickets lowest prices guaranteed I think oh. it's GameTime.co. Co. The C-O. Yeah. You want time for him? <coughs> it's game yeah, time, right. baby. See, I thought he did break the record that day. Or I thought <laughs> it, they said it in some things. Mm-hmm. but Well, that I mean, I just Googled that, and that's yeah. what came up. So that might not be up-to-date information. You know, another thing in Nashville I like, I like the Parthenon. Yeah, we didn't talk about that. I'm surprised yeah. you like that. Well, I I think it's it's. Super creepy, uh, but I do like it somehow. And I, I did a video on it. Uh, so if you don't have time to go, watch the video. It's on YouTube. And uh, I just do a tour inside of it. And I'm sure you've all been. Uh, to I've the been. Parthenon? Yeah. yeah. It yeah. is so creepy to me <clears throat> inside that <clears throat> statue. It just feels like the statue <clears throat> is sending off bad spiritual vibes. Well, what was it? Where were the uh, Athens oh, of this. the South? Or- yeah, we're called Athens of the South because we have so many educational institutions here, mm. so many colleges. And then during the uh, is that what uh, their Athens has colleges? 
I think they were the education Athens, hub, right? It was like the the, the, the for higher learning, yeah, and thinking. for higher learning, the philosophers the and such. Yeah, oh. all those Greek philosophers—they're all in Athens. Oh, they just so get we're together the, and chat because we have all that here. That's right. Yeah. Even though there's an Athens, Alabama, this Athens, is our Georgia. symposium right here. <laughs> yeah, and we're not table. even called Athens. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Nashville has yeah. <laughs> the sculpture is called Athena Parthenos, and it's the tallest indoor sculpture in the Western Hemisphere. <laughs> wow. Oh, I didn't know that. And it has, yeah, yeah. I mean, that Let's see Nike old, is in her hand, and it's like Where's it in the Eastern? You know, I'll tell you what, you don't hear much about the Eastern Hemisphere. You hear about it a, a lot. I've never heard. I only hear- Like so, Europe and- I only hear it's the biggest in the Western Hemisphere. I've never heard someone go, you know, that's the biggest in the Eastern Hemisphere. You don't hear well, them say you Eastern Hemisphere. We're yeah. in the Western Hemisphere, so I imagine we talk about it more. Yeah, you but I, I just don't think – I've never even heard the word Eastern Hemisphere said. I don't think so either. When I'm talking about Paraguay, I often reference the <laughs> Eastern Hemisphere. Yeah. It's well, not, we're Western. It's, it's all so the Western. Hemisphere. The Western yeah, – yeah. what is know, it? Is like it the top? top? I think Does it mean the top? It's the Northern means, Hemisphere. So we're <laughs> in the Northwestern? Yeah, I don't think they break it up into <laughs> quadrants like that. But we're, it's, like conferences, you had, yeah, you would be in the overlap of the Western Hemisphere and the Northern. <laughs> the hemisphere. NWH, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it's like the equator decides it, right? Yeah, it's and the then equator. what decides the West and East? It's a, like the middle of it. I don't know the term for the vertical equator. Very loose. <laughs> yeah. No one really knows the answer to yeah, yeah. stuff. Yeah, the, pri uh, the prime meridian. It's the prime meridian and the yeah, that's what it is. <clears throat> The half of Earth, Western Hemisphere is the half of Earth which lies west of the prime meridian. Well, no one knows what that means. <laughs> it's like the equator for the middle, dude. Yeah. Yeah, but no one talks about the prime meridian. Well, we don't hang out with a lot of uh, cartographers. I imagine it comes up, though. It's an arbitrary line of longitude in a geographic coordinate system up. at which the longitude is defined to be zero in the middle. But the equator is the one that everybody talks about. Th that's talked about quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. If you are, and the you don't, no one really says northern hemisphere, or southern. I mean, I've heard those. <coughs> I've never heard eastern hemisphere. Okay, you've heard the eastern world before, right? Eastern. Uh, I just hear eastern east. philosophy. Eastern. Eastern philosophy. I've heard. Yeah, maybe. But even Europe's think. the west, right? That's true. That's true. That's not even what they mean when they say east and west. No, because Europe is the Western world. Yeah. Prime Meridian's probably pretty jealous of the equator, though. I bet. Yeah, so what's the eastern? <laughs> yeah. yeah, oh, yeah. Well, it's got two names, Prime Meridian. It's just yeah. not, it doesn't flow. Yeah. Sounds like a, you know, a transformer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so there it is. So, hold on. Golly, they just had a picture of it. Yeah, the western is basically, it's everything, you know? No. Is there even no, an no. eastern? See, I mean, look, what's the eastern? Like? See, look, so there's, eastern is almost all of Europe, except France and Spain and Portugal and the UK, but everything, and then all of Asia and almost all of Africa and Australia and New Zealand. Real chunk of Africa, though, in the Western Hemisphere. I wonder if that's uh, that's an issue. You know, you're like, well, you know, you're one continent, but you're, you know, one hemisphere and another hemisphere. Hey. It seems like, you know. Pick a side. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we would be the Northwest Hemisphere. NWH. But no one says that, but we would be. I guess so. Yeah, I've never heard it described right, that way. I guess either. so, it's but I don't know if you break it up into quarters like that. <laughs> well, I don't. Then there is no northern and southern hemisphere. I guess they don't say that. They say equator, north and south pole, north mm -hmm. pole, south pole. So, what is the northern hemisphere? It's broken up into quarters. Yeah. I so mean, the how, northern hemisphere is everything above the equator. Okay. So that's most you. of the Earth. It's a lot of South America, a lot of Africa, and then Australia. I'm here to say that I think what most people say it's the biggest in the Western Hemisphere. Most people go, okay, and they don't have any concept of – you're never like, oh, wow. You're just like, man. Mm -hmm. I, I think would agree most people that. are like, well, what's the biggest? Yeah, like, what's the biggest in the world? Yeah, don't break it down by it's, hemisphere. To, right, right. Well, they have to because that's like you know my, this side of Mississippi. Yeah, yeah. It, it's you east gotta, of the Rockies. Whatever. East of the, yeah, east <laughs> yeah. of the yeah, east of the Rockies. You got to have something to be like because they, you know, people in the Eastern Hemisphere go, yeah, yeah. Say that over here. They go, they won't say it over here. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. what they would say because yeah. we got indoor, bigger indoor stuff. 
Yeah. What's the biggest in the world? I don't and know. how many? Yeah. How many? How 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 high does this rank in overall? Yeah, I bet it's pretty far down the is list. Is it second or is it you know? What'd you Google? Is it? We've any- got tall statues in the world. We got the. Uh, but these are well, this, outdoor. This yeah, is uh, it's indoor structure. Well, this is an, this is indoor. Uh, this okay. is eighty eight tons indoor statue made of gilded bronze. <clears> one hundred eight feet. One hundred eight feet. Wow. Where is that at? That's in China. And that's God ranks so low. Uh yeah. ninety nine. It's the ninety nine. So how are you searching indoor on you can just search a word on a website? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you do find. <laughs> you gotta find, <laughs> man. <laughs> These college boys. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> Look at that. I know. Now, I have never you seen thought this I'd see the Statue day. of Unity, man. No. That is bizarre. That's the biggest statue in the world? Yeah. Who is that? It's in India. It's a- uh, Patel? (laughs) It depicts Indian statesman and independence activist, uh, yeah, V. Patel, the first deputy prime minister and home minister of independent India. I mean, so ridiculously large. Like, how big is that compared to, you know, something? The The Statue of Liberty. the, The Batman building- Downtown Nashville. Yeah, I don't so, know if we do that. Empire. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a hunt that's five hundred and ninety seven feet. We'll see. Uh, that's closer to the Batman. It's five hundred and ninety seven feet. The Batman building is six hundred and seventeen feet. So it's almost as tall. Oh wow. As the uh, it's basically as tall. So yeah, it'd be like the statue. Batman building. Yes. Of wow. a guy. Of just of you. That's or crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's going to be in Nate Land. <laughs> Nate Land is going to have that. Yeah. There'll be a ride. You ride around it. Yeah. And I'll have it be my fat days so you can have a little more <laughs> yeah. curves to f- roll around. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, because you don't want to skin. I mean, you couldn't do a bo- uh, statue. I think you need to be big to have a statue. You don't see many. You see a lot of in shape. You need to either be wearing a lot of clothes. You need a little more. Well, Speaking of Bridgestone Arena and statues, they just put up one out there of Pecorine last week. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. And because exists. because hockey goalies, especially their equipment, is so big, it makes his head look... Oh. <laughs> mm, no, thank you. It makes his head look very small. Um, yeah, yeah. Be- because of it. I mean, it looks good. I think he likes it. But someone pointed out that it makes his head look proportionally small. Is he the only first statue? Yeah. Okay, that's an announcement about it. Have, it's up now? Like yeah. they, they've put it out? <coughs> yeah, last week. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah. It does look very that's funny. Cool. Very small. Because his head looks small. But I mean, I think that's what it looks like. Oh, I do too. I don't think yeah. anybody's complaining, but, or yeah, he's yeah. not at least, but someone said so it looked you, like uh, Beetlejuice when he got his head shrunk down. Oh, yeah. yeah. Who said that? You? <laughs> my friend, yeah, huh? my a friend of mine. Is it? I thought it was hot. just a friend of mine. Yeah, you just he tweeted about, like, that yeah. last week. Yeah, yeah. Like, the, yeah like the media is out here. It's a good joke in the eighties. It is a good joke now, <laughs> and still very relevant. Relevant now. <laughs> well, while you're in town, if you're coming in, or some people are coming in early, making a whole weekend of it. Some other things to do. The two nights before Nate's show, uh, the Predators play at home. Oh. They're our, our NHL hockey team. They play. Minnesota Wild on Thursday and the Colorado Avalanche on Friday. And then they got to get that ice out of there. If I slip, walk into stage. Oh, well, the crazy dude. thing, so the Penguins, when we did the uh, – when I did the Penguins <coughs> thing, they had a game the next day at 3 p.m. Whoa. Wow. And That's then I showed – I mean, they they turned it around. The the one I was in and then Ra, in Raleigh, they were – we uh, – I mean, before we left on the bus, at like we were in there at midnight. They already had all the ice and the everything up. It They're waiting. Back to ice. You do an encore and like, oh, dear. oh, yeah. They Come just, on. I mean, once it's over, it's it's they stage gets packed up, everything gets put back, and mm-hmm. yeah, it's it's pretty great. You watch them put seats everywhere, and I mean, they 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 it's a tight ship. And if you want to double up on some comedy, you know, maybe see a show at Zanies. We have a great comedy club here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Nashville Comedy Festival. This your show kicks it off, basically, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I looked at Zadie. I think it's Jason Banks, who I don't personally know. I don't know him either. Is there. Um, but- yeah, if you – it's the Nashville Comedy Festival is a great thing. Look at these two and here then, at the top. Nate, yeah. Leanne Morgan, David yeah. Spade, Fortune Feimster, who I yeah. work with a lot. She's great. She is great. Uh, yeah. 
I think it's I get a small forty years of uh, forty years of zanies. Yeah. Uh, get a fun group coming oh, yeah. down. Oh. Yeah, a little dusty sleigh. Uh, oh, look at that, Bobby and Big J. Big J has a special out. Big J Elkerson. Uh, <clears throat> he just put it out. If Big J is uh, <clears throat> New York comic, very f- extremely funny. Uh, I mean, one of our close <coughs> friends. Uh, very dirty though. So just uh, giving you that warning out. I, you know, all not all. You, you, if you. I uh, just if you be aware, of, you know, if you're gonna go listen to some, uh, but yeah, someone I've known, uh, you know, for 15 years, but extremely funny has a special out now, and uh, so yeah, some people don't, you know, if you're into it, but he's great, and yeah, it'll be fun. The Nashville Comedy Festival is becoming it's a good festival, man. Yeah, it is. It really is. They it's always been really really good. So <clears throat> same night as your show. If anybody gets bored and wants to leave, mm. Luke Combs playing Nissan Stadium. Wow. The Aaron yeah. Weber lookalike. Dude. It's going to be crazy. Yeah. yeah it's a lot going downtown. It might be a problem, me being around Bridgestone. <laughs> oh, if, yeah. If I, if I wear a Columbia PFG fishing shirt. and uh, I think you should. I think I should dress like him. Carry a guitar. He is way taller than me. But Is uh, he? Yeah, he's You're a, pretty tall. He's a big guy, though. I think he's like How six, tall are you? He, I'm six feet. I think he's like six four, six five. Oh, he's really? a big dude, I think. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Five eight. <laughs> I mean, oh, five feet eight. Oh, that's hilarious. Whoa. What made you think uh, he was so tall? Uh, just the look of him. Mm. That was based on just my pure instinct looking at the man. People think I'm tall too. People tell me that I'm five. I'm about five eight, five nine. People think I'm tall. They they always You're tell five, me that. five eight, five nine. I'm five eleven. Are you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I Maybe went to I a doctor and I weighed five. Maybe I don't know how tall I am. <laughs> and but, I uh, weigh five. They well, do my. Well, what do you think? He was taller or shorter? Are you taller than me? I thought we were similar height. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think you might just kind of. I got a me. bad posture. You have bad posture. Yeah. I do too. Yeah, when you go standing there and they do your thing, what do you do? Crouch down? I don't know. I don't. Uh, to be honest, I don't know if I've ever gotten my height from a doctor. <laughs> they might write it down, but they don't relay yeah. it to me. Yeah. You get it the way – I feel like you get your height the way we tell Bigfoot's height. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> compare it to like trees. Compare it and like – and then you do it and that's how you do your height. Yeah. I think so, yeah. Yeah. I go – Yeah, I just think I got my driver's license at 16 and they asked me how tall I was and I said a number and then that's what I've ran with. That's what you've been your whole life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think you're taller than 5'8". But people always say, oh, I thought you'd be a lot taller. 5'8 like is that's, uh, smaller. Five, yeah. Oh, it says I'm 5'10". Yeah. The internet says you're 5'10". He has long brown hair and bread and brown eyes. Uh, uh yeah, why? Bread. Yeah, that's a very I do descriptive. Have bread. I usually have bread. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> he loves his bread. <laughs> yeah. How does it get your height? Like on on uh, no what's idea. his face? You, on, you have a site of gossipnextdoor.com. Oh, Dusty do Slay <laughs> bio, wife. This is odd. Oh. There's a lot on here, man. Yeah, you look like that picture yeah, that yeah. they just showed yeah. of you. I mean, it looks like uh you're on one of those uh shows where the wife killed the husband. Yeah, yeah, it does. <laughs> And you know, it does. And they put my net worth on there, and I think they say under uh, like 750,000. My dad saw that and he was like, said under 750,000 or something. I was like, yeah, way under. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> way yeah. under. Yeah. Mine's <laughs> under that too. Yeah. yeah, you go, all of us are under. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's fun. Yeah. Is there any other? What's the, I mean, there's a ton of Nashville stuff I got, but we, what's the other Nashville? Just name some. Well, more. the next day after your show at Bridgestone Arena, new edition. I may come back. Oh, at Bridgestone? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, Nashville is. Um, it's also known as the buckle belt, buckle of the Bible Belt, or the Protestant Vatican, because we have so many churches. Over 700 churches. A lot of religious headquarters are here, including the United Methodist Church, Southern Baptist Convention, National Baptist Convention USA. National Association of Free Will Baptists. We're also called Cashville. Oh, jeez. <laughs> rapper Young Buck had an album called Cashville. Uh, little Little Kurdistan, because we have more Kurdish immigrants than any other city in the world. Kurdish? Yeah. Where is that? It's, where's Kurdistan? Yeah. I think it's in the Middle East. Eastern yeah. Yeah. Hemisphere. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Eastern <laughs> Hemisphere. Yeah, it's it the Eastern Hemisphere. So we, oh, wow. That's, yeah. 
Um, the Goo Goo Cluster was invented here. Does anybody know the Goo Goo, Goo, Goo Cluster? I know what it is. Uh, I've never had it. Was it coconut or is it caramel? No, it's like it's caramel and marshmallow. Caramel. It's pretty good. Marshmallow. It's I need good. to try it. I don't know it's if okay. I'm a big marshmallow thing, but I, I always love the name, and I think it always looks delicious. And mm-hmm. I don't. But then I'm like, I think marshmallow throws me. Where I'm like, I don't know. you don't like marshmallow? Uh, I. Uh, I don't know when it's in something. I don't. I don't know if I'm just crazy, but I like. I would support marshmallow. Yeah, but I don't know if it's. Yeah, it's be. weird when you bite into something and it's got a lot of different weird textures. Yeah. But I love the name of Goo Goo Cluster. Oh, there's Kurdistan. That's right. Oh, is it not even a place anymore? It's not. It's not a country. It's just like an area. I guess maybe they fled because it used to be a country, and yeah, I think uh, and they all had to get out. Batman is in it. Saddam gassed a lot of them. Golly, you could have just <laughs> could have just moved on from it. We weren't like no one was no one was prying for more answers. We just kind of <laughs> I'm just I'm trying to paint a picture here. We were just kind of just doing our thing, yeah. man, having a good time, you know. Yeah. As Dusty says, yeah. and then you just got to well, you're the bad news now. Bad news, whatever. Well, I ask you guys: Is there anything in Nashville that I haven't brought up? People need to know about or see or. I got all my things in. I mean, I, I, I really tell people, go to Robert's, because I think that's my favorite bar downtown. They play a lot of old country. And then I like to skip on down to Kid Rock's Honky Tonk. See, the new country. Yeah. The Ryman. Ryman's right there, too. It's oh, a good yeah. place. Right yeah, across Ryman's from Bridgestone. The, the old Grand, Grand Ole Opry. Opry used to be there. The Grand Ole Opry is yeah. here, too. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. But, the, but if you go look at the Ryman, it's downtown, and it's like where the Grand Ole Opry yeah. started. It's the original. But yeah, the, the Grand Ole Opry mm-hmm. is also here. Uh, we have a great minor league baseball stadium here, the Nashville yeah. Sounds. If you like going to minor league baseball games. Yeah, that's fun. It's a good one. Do they play? They're in town all week next this week. Oh, wow. But they're during the show. But they're Yeah, being, well, don't go to on the 15th. Yeah, but Sunday is Sunday fam, family day. Trying to wind down on Sunday, 2 o'clock game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you're here, I mean, the cat, if some people might be coming and staying for some of the Nashville Comedy Festival. That will be going on all week. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, it's uh, – I'm trying to think if there's any – Oh, at the Nashville Fairgrounds on Saturday, the Nashville Exotic Pet Expo 2023. Mm-hmm. So if you like snakes or well, just anything like that, mm-hmm. go check that out. It's fun yeah. stuff to see. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, is there – yeah, is there – we missing any other touristy – what about Music Early. Row? You used to work on Music yeah. Row. Is that a touristy spot? Uh, definitely not the place I worked, but it, yeah. they, all the studios are down there. It's, it's cool to drive through it. Yeah, and, I read and, about RCA Studio B. I guess yeah. that's the most famous one, maybe. Uh huh. And over half of all the top songs for two decades were recorded in that studio, country songs. Yeah. And Elvis made a Christmas album there oh, in cool. July, and he couldn't get in the Christmas mood, so they put up Christmas lights just to get him in the mood, and they still hang there today. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. Uh, yep. Is the Hard Rock still there? Yeah, Hard Rock Cafe still. still there, yeah. I was wondering, that's been there. I went there when I was a kid. Forever. It has. That was like the first big thing. That was the thing. first big thing. And yeah, and it's our, it was, it's been there forever. I always forget it's there. Yeah. So you might think, ah, oh, there's a reason to go to Hard Rock, but there's, I don't know. They've been there oh, yeah. so long. And I was kind of like. Since the early 90s. Yeah. Second Avenue was our yeah. our street. Uh, White Horse Saloon. Yeah, White Horse Saloon there. Second Avenue was our street that was uh, <coughs> like you'd go drive down it, uh, listen to your music. People listen to music loud. Like that was a that used to be. I don't. They don't do that now, but that was the big thing because downtown wasn't. It was. I don't even know if it was really Broadway as much as we would always just go up and down Second Avenue. Yeah, Second Avenue used to be bigger than Broadway. Yeah, and so like that's yeah. I think that's what happens. The people always talk about like you go down Broadway and you're like, no, I mean, it's kind of dangerous at one time. Yeah, but we'd always just go up and down Second Avenue. Yeah, and then you you drive your car. That was the big thing. Go driving car. I mean, it was really treated like a small town, Nashville back when we grew up. I mean, Nashville. Even though it wasn't until we got the Batman building, you know. Right. I most of my life I feel like if I go to Knoxville or Chattanooga or Memphis or whatever, they all seem about the same as Nashville as far as just the skyline. Mm. And now it's just night and day different. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. It's a good top <coughs> golf. Just yeah. give people some yeah. Nashville's got a great little top golf. That's fun. There's a song, I forget the artist, but it's called The The Boys on Sixteenth Avenue. So Morgan, I think I think Morgan Wallen. 
I don't know. <laughs> no. And if you, uh, I think if you're gonna drive down, listen to that song. I think it's fun. I think it gives the it gives the. But if the, people want to go eat, where's the eating is probably a big thing. Yeah. So I'm we not a foodie. Aaron, uh, we need. Yeah. <laughs> well, we said go to a food court in Satco. But, it, but in it is. Satco. But that food court is is really great. Though. Yeah, yeah. We told you go to two things that cost you about. F- Eight dollars, yeah. yeah. Like you know, now, but uh, sat, yeah, we like sat food. What what's a big famous restaurant? Husk. Husk, Husk is great. Yeah, Husk is awesome. Yeah, Husk is one of the best restaurants in the country. They say. Oh, what about the Pinewood Social? You got a little bowling. It's bowling. That's pretty fun. They got great sandwiches there. Yeah. That's a good spot for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's an Arby's mm-hmm. and Donaldson. <laughs> the Gulch. Walk over the Gulch. Has got a restaurants. Yeah. Mm-hmm. West End. Uh, West End's where Vanderbilt's at. Go to East Nashville. Check out some uh, Five Points Pizza. Yeah, East Nashville is a cool yeah. area. That's uh, right over across by the Titan Stadium. Yeah, yeah. All right. I mean, man, this is this has got to be not great touring advice. <laughs> I think we did all right. I think it started. I mean, we at first we were talking about Antarctica for a while. So, but I think we did all right in the end. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I just think though you're listening to it, like we're not. It sounds like yeah. you really look like a, a real tourist thing. They would have all this stuff written out. I mean, we're just like I said, Top Golf. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm like you know stuff that's like and the Hard Rock. <laughs> yeah, that's Top Golf and Hard Rock. Thing, two things that are everywhere. <laughs> that Hard Rock has been around a long time. I that went there when was, I was a little kid. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The Hard Rock was a big deal when it came there, so I, I like the Hard Rock. I was trying to think of some more Nate Land stuff we've talked about that they could go see for themselves, and I can't really think of. Anything. If you can find the goalposts that Nate carried to the fraternity house. Yeah, wherever that's at. Um, uh, Opry Mills, but. Yeah, you know where he's Yeah, but I mean, you're in town. Go see downtown. Like, uh, There's a good chance you'll see your parents at Chewy's or something at Opry Mills. Yeah, yeah you might see them at Chewy's. <laughs> yeah. you probably see my dad walking around before the show. I've seen your dad at the grocery store two times. Yeah. Yeah. I'm running into your whole family at a grocery store. Yeah, I like grocery store. Yeah. It's where the food's at. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm there. Yeah. Yeah. I ran into the Dusty at Starbucks. Messed me up, dude. Yeah. I, yeah. Aaron, <laughs> I was going to the Starbucks, and I see him come out. I go, Aaron Weber. And he turns around like he got caught doing something. Yeah. yeah. He was like, oh, I, just, I just didn't expect to see you here. I'm like, yeah, yeah, this is my neighborhood. I yeah. live around yeah. here. Yeah. You live around here. You've dropped me off at home before. It's <laughs> not so strange. It's just I wasn't expected to see you, <laughs> yeah. man. It just threw me off. I couldn't explain it. It changed my whole day. I was like, I was like, okay. Ugh. I was like, I won't tell anybody I saw you here if you don't want me. <laughs> I'm just to. Not in the zone on my phone, and then Dusty's there. Like, what is yeah. going on? Anyway, uh, Eli, is yeah. it like your work life, like? Switched over. It's like seeing your teacher at yeah. outside a classroom. You're yeah. Like, Whoa. Yeah. Well, like, got caught and we've hung out something. outside of comedy before. It's not like that was totally odd. It just was weird. I'm sorry about that. That's okay. But you were, yeah, you were like, <laughs> like I caught you doing something. <laughs> yeah. It's like you're walking with your like regular friends and yeah. you got to go, hold on. Yeah, yeah. Like when, yeah. when Lane goes, yeah. talks to those Bizarro. Old friends, Bizarro. Yeah. yeah. If he yeah. had friends, it would have even been more acceptable. If he had friends and he was just like, alone. Yeah. He was just alone. Like you're in a different city. Like you got, like you right. got recognized in Italy. <laughs> That's what it felt like. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but it was the Hermitage Starbucks. I mean, imagine like yeah. I'm on a safari in Africa and then like just Dusty's there. Right in front of the Home Depot. I'm there every other day. I'm <laughs> At the Hermitage Starbucks? Yeah. Yeah, I've been in there up uh, all in that. Yeah. All right. Sorry. It's like a Whataburger. If anybody wants to go to what Whataburger, yeah. it's over in Hermitage. And you can see where this uh uh the sense incident, incident happened. happened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a new one to add to the list. Aaron, uh-huh. it's a fun Aaron does not talk to us outside of this podcast. <laughs> I try not to. I try yeah. to I try yeah. to leave it all on the pod. He goes <laughs> he goes, What do you guys want? <laughs> uh, I'm the one working this weekend. You guys got a lot more time than I do. Yeah, it was last weekend. <laughs> that was last. Week. Yeah, oh, we're yeah, all working yeah. this weekend. That's true. <laughs> we're, um, all working, we're all working for you this yeah, weekend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't blow it. <clears throat> we're also um, in Johnson City. <laughs> we are yeah, in Johnson sure. City. Johnson we're on Johnson City. City. I'm excited nice. about that. You know, the first time I really bombed was in Johnson City at the comedy club at a Holiday Inn, and mm. uh, it feels good to go back. Yeah. I'm very excited. Well, now you get a bomb in front of the whole city. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the Tri-Cities. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, everybody that's coming to all these shows, it's, uh, yeah, it means the world. And uh, we can't, I cannot wait to do it. Uh, we have these guys and then my dad, and uh, it's going to be a fun, 
It's going to be fun. It's going to be unreal. It's going to be probably emotional. It's going to be crazy. So I know I'll uh, cry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll be – it's it's going to be – yeah. I am I think I'm off the next week. I, they, yeah. they, it was a good, like – Yeah, to like, take a break after yeah, this. Yeah, just to yeah. be – it's one – yeah, just to be like take it in. Uh, all right. Well, we'll all be there. <laughs> good deal. Good deal. I'm excited. Uh, see you at Bridgestone if you're coming. Uh, if not, we'll see you out on the road. Uh, we love you. Thank you. And uh, we'll see you next week. Bye. Nate Land is produced by Nate Land Productions and by me, Nate Bargetzi, and my wife, Laura, on the Audio Boom platform. Recording and editing for the show is done by Genovations Media. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to catch us next week on the Nate Land Podcast. <laughs>